specializes in utility construction Look and maintenance, else, including indeed. distribution, substations, underground and overhead, and control wiring. They have a federal approved and accredited apprenticeship program working in nine states across the southeast. If you're looking for an exciting career like former Blue Devil Brody Doss or Trevor Roberts, give Jerry Pounds or Hillary a call at 404-783-8646. Also, check them out online at InceptionSolutions.com. So join the over 70 employees that have made IES their home. That's Inception Energy Solutions. If you're looking for some of the best lemonade in West Georgia, Steve and his crew at Incredible Pulp Lemonade are serving up sunshine by the cup. With an extensive menu that includes strawberry, cherry lemonade, and watermelon, the menu also boasts a peach mango lemonade with natural peach puree stirred in the mix. If you are looking for your own cup of sunshine, give them a call or follow their Facebook page at Incredible Pope Lemonade. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram is a family-owned and operated dealership serving West Georgia and East Alabama and supporting high school sports since the doors opened in 1990. Whether it's sales, service, parts, or financing, we're here for all your automotive needs. As the service and satisfaction winner for the past eight years and the number one Ram dealer for the past 16 years, it's guaranteed that there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. If you can't make it out to see us, we'll deliver a unit straight to your doorstep. So give us a call today or visit us online at O'NeillDodge.com, where we make the buying experience easy. Old Fashioned Hardware Store. That's the best way to describe Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Remember when a person greeted you at the door and provided quality information and service? Or when salespeople were knowledgeable about hardware, plumbing, electrical, paint, and agricultural products? Take it further back, how about when lawn and garden seeds were scooped from bulk containers? At Messer Hardware, the best parts of the past are alive, well, and at the center of our business philosophy. We pride ourselves on offering the old-fashioned hardware store experience you grew up with. That's Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Since 1985, Osier Apparel has been a leading provider of custom apparel, specializing in corporate wear, custom t-shirts, and spirit wear. As a family-run business with over three decades of experience, they have established a reputation for delivering quality products and exceptional customer service to their clients. Choose Osier Apparel for all your custom needs. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Service is your go-to for all your mulching, brush cutting, trenching, grading, excavator services, and more. Over in 2018, Ryan and his team have made a commitment for customer service and satisfaction. For all your mulching and skid steer needs, give Ryan and his team a call at 678-378-0683. That's 678-378-0683. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Services in Bowden. Are you looking for a car, a truck, or maybe one of those popular Jeeps? Look no further. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has been serving the West Georgia area for over 25 years, providing one of the largest inventories of quality trucks, cars, and SUVs in the region means you're guaranteed to find a model and trim which best suits your lifestyle. Once you settle on the perfect vehicle, meet with their team of finance experts. They can help secure you the terms and rate which best fits your lifestyle. Remember, there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. That's James O'Neill, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Bremen. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316familymedicine.us 316 Family Medicine a fresh approach to health care 
Are you thinking of buying or selling land in West Georgia? Cal Hardy is one of West Georgia's top agents and would love to help you. Whether you're looking to buy or sell hunting land, farmland, or a rural home, Cal has the experience and expertise to help you. Find him on Facebook or call Cal at 770-296-2163. Three Sixteen Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316 Family Medicine US 316 Family Medicine, a fresh approach to health care. Since 2005, Caliber One Construction has provided the highest level of quality, integrity, and satisfaction in every aspect of their company, while empowering their employees to address the ongoing needs of their clients in an ever-changing environment through a passionate work ethic and innovative spirit. Founders Jenny and Chris Elliott have made a commitment to customer service and customer satisfaction. That's why Caliber One Construction goes by the motto Hype, how you prepare every day. Caliber One Construction, proud partners of WGTV and WGTV Sports. Located on 30 Dot Road in Bowden, Arian Farm and Rent Supply opened their doors in April of this year. With backyard gardening essentials as their main focus, there is so much more at Arian Farm and Ranch Supply. They also serve as a full-scale farm supplier, and there's even some fencing options you can choose from. So stop by Arian Farm and Ranch Supply today for some free coffee and all of your farming needs. Inception Energy Solutions specializes in utility construction and maintenance, including distribution, substations, underground and overhead, and control wiring. They have a federal approved and accredited apprenticeship program working in nine states across the southeast. If you're looking for an exciting career like former Blue Devil Brody Doss or Trevor Roberts, give Jerry Pounds or Hillary a call at 404-783-8646. Also, check them out online at InceptionSolutions.com. So join the over 70 employees that have made IES their home. That's Inception Energy Solutions. If you're looking for some of the best lemonade in West Georgia, Steve and his crew at Incredible Pulp Lemonade are serving up sunshine by the cup. With an extensive menu that includes strawberry, cherry lemonade, and watermelon, the menu also boasts a peach mango lemonade with natural peach puree stirred in the mix. If you are looking for your own cup of sunshine, Give them a call or follow their Facebook page at Incredible Pulp Lemonade. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram is a family-owned and operated dealership serving West Georgia and East Alabama and supporting high school sports since the doors opened in 1990. Whether it's sales, service, parts, or financing, we're here for all your automotive needs. As the service and satisfaction winner for the past eight years and the number one Ram dealer for the past 16 years, it's guaranteed that there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. If you can't make it out to see us, we'll deliver a unit straight to your doorstep. So give us a call today or visit us online at O'NeillDodge.com, where we make the buying experience easy. Old Fashioned Hardware Store. That's the best way to describe Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Remember when a person greeted you at the door and provided quality information and service? Or when salespeople were knowledgeable about hardware, plumbing, electrical, paint, and agricultural products? Take it further back. How about when lawn and garden seeds were scooped from bulk containers? At Messer Hardware, the best parts of the past are alive, well, and at the center of our business philosophy. We pride ourselves on offering the old-fashioned hardware store experience you grew up with. That's Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Since 1985, Osier Apparel has been a leading provider of custom apparel, specializing in corporate wear, custom t-shirts, and spirit wear. As a family-run business with over three decades of experience, they have established a reputation for delivering quality products and exceptional customer service to their clients. Choose Osier Apparel for all your custom needs. 
Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Service is your go-to for all your mulching, brush cutting, trenching, grading, excavator services, and more. Over in 2018, Ryan and his team have made a commitment for customer service and satisfaction. For all your mulching and skid steer needs, give Ryan and his team a call at 678-378-0683. That's 678-378-0683. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Services in Bowden. Are you looking for a car, a truck? Good evening and welcome in to a, another edition of the Inception Energy Solution, Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week. And we are right here on WGTV. My man, Josh Stitcher, Tom Araquazo here. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful evening, Josh, for high school football. It was a little bit hot today. Well, let me just go back. It was a whole lot hot today. And it's warm right now, but the wind's blowing, the sun's going down. It's going to be a great night of football. Yep, it is a, a picture-perfect summer evening yeah. to play a little football. And it is so great to be here at Sam McIntyre Stadium, just to be in Villarica under a – Pretty cool porch. They got us a nice setup, and it's going to be a good night of football, I believe. It's going to be fun. The uh, the gold and uh, and and purple is going to run free tonight, I believe so. I really do. I'm looking forward to see what uh, you know. First year head coach uh, Austin Barron and his gang is going to do here tonight. I just I don't know. There's something about whenever we had our media day, and I had the opportunity to sit down and talk to him and a couple of players. There was just something in his eye. There yeah. was something in his voice. He wasn't making any predictions. He wasn't, you know, going out and saying, hey, we're going to be world beaters or not. But you could just tell he had confidence and he believed in his football team. Well, he comes from a fantastic yeah. coaching family. I mean, his dad was second to none right. as a head football coach. Austin played, of course, at Heard County High School, and then he went on and played at the University of West Georgia and coach for his dad for a couple of years. Right. He's got coaching. He's got football in his blood. He's got coaching in his blood. And I'm excited that we get to catch him on his very first head coaching game of his career. Yeah, I'd like to see him win a football game tonight. That would be great to get his career, get his season, get everything started off right uh, for these Villarica Wildcats. I'm going to tell you, uh, Hebron Christian's going to come in. They're a pretty good football team. They're, uh, they, you know, they, they will score some points. they got a lot of athletes. But I don't know. This this Villarica team's kind of an unknown. We don't really know what's going to happen and what to expect out of this team in 2023, Josh. But, they, again, there's just something about that head coach, and, and I just feel like he's got kind of, I believe Villarica's going to play good tonight. I think they'll play really, really good. Hebron Christian's going to play good coming in. They played last week. They beat Chesity out of Gainesville 70-14. to 14. Yeah. So they know how to put some points up on the board and uh, score. That probably won't be an issue, but, yeah, I'm like you. I'm excited to see, get this season kicked off for Villarica and see these Wildcats play. They've got uh, – yeah, I think they're going to have a pretty dang special season. Well, the marching Wildcat pride is going to get ready and do the national anthem. We're going to take and throw it back to the studio and uh, and run around the block and pay some bills and bring come back with more of the Inception Energy Solutions Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week right here on WGTV. Are you looking for a car, a truck, or maybe one of those popular Jeeps? Look no further. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has been serving the West Georgia area for over 25 years, providing one of the largest inventories of quality trucks, cars, and SUVs in the region means you're guaranteed to find the model and trim which best suits your lifestyle. Once you settle on the perfect vehicle, meet with their team of finance experts. They can help secure you the terms and rate which best fits your lifestyle. Remember, there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. That's James O'Neill, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Bremen. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316familymedicine.us. 316 Family Medicine, a fresh approach to health care. 
Are you thinking of buying or selling land in West Georgia? Cal Hardy is one of West Georgia's top agents and would love to help you. Whether you're looking to buy or sell hunting land, farmland, or a rural home, Cal has the experience and expertise to help you. Find him on Facebook or call Cal at 770-296-2163. Three Sixteen Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316 Family Medicine US 316 Family Medicine, a fresh approach to health care. Since 2005, Caliber One Construction has provided the highest level of quality, integrity, and satisfaction in every aspect of their company. While empowering their employees to address the ongoing needs of their clients in an ever-changing environment. Through a passionate work ethic and innovative spirit. Founders Jenny and Chris Elliott have made a commitment to customer service and customer satisfaction. That's why Caliber One Construction goes by the motto Hype, how you prepare every day. Caliber One Construction, proud partners of WGTV and WGTV Sports. Located on 30 Dot Road in Bowden, Arian Farm and Rent Supply opened their doors in April of this year. With backyard gardening essentials as their main focus, there is so much more at Arian Farm and Ranch Supply. They also serve as a full-scale farm supplier, and there's even some fencing options you can choose from. So stop by Arian Farm and Ranch Supply today for some free coffee and all of your farming needs. Inception Energy Solutions specializes in utility construction and maintenance, including distribution, substations, underground and overhead, and control wiring. They have a federal approved and accredited apprenticeship program working in nine states across the southeast. If you're looking for an exciting career like former Blue Devil Brody Doss or Trevor Roberts, give Jerry Pounds or Hillary a call at 404-783-8646. Also, check them out online at InceptionSolutions.com. So join the over 70 employees that have made IES their home. Home. That's Inception Energy Solutions. If you're looking for some of the best lemonade in West Georgia, Steve and his crew at Incredible Pulp Lemonade are serving up sunshine by the cup. With an extensive menu that includes strawberry, cherry lemonade, and watermelon, the menu also boasts a peach mango lemonade with natural peach puree stirred in the mix. If you are looking for your own cup of sunshine, Give them a call or follow their Facebook page at Incredible Pulp Lemonade. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram is a family-owned and operated dealership serving West Georgia and East Alabama and supporting high school sports since the doors opened in 1990. Whether it's sales, service, parts, or financing, we're here for all your automotive needs. As the service and satisfaction winner for the past eight years and the number one Ram dealer for the past 16 years, it's guaranteed that there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. If you can't make it out to see us, we'll deliver a unit straight to your doorstep. So give us a call today or visit us online at O'NeillDodge.com, where we make the buying experience easy. Old Fashioned Hardware Store. Welcome back in. It's the Inception Energy Solutions, Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week here on WGTV. I'm Tom Eric Wazo alongside Josh Stitcher. And, Josh, uh, as we move around the county and, and look at the five schools, uh, all uh, for us to cover uh, each and every Friday night, Excited about being in Villarica tonight. Uh, you know, as we said, uh, Coach Austin Barron's first uh, season as a head coach and an opportunity for him uh, to get his first win here tonight. Yeah, it is, and uh, I'm excited for, for him. Um, I'm excited to see – I'm excited to find out, and I'm sure everybody else that's on Villarica's schedule is, I'm excited for them to come out and uh, really see what kind of offense we're going to run. What kind of defense are they going to run? What are they going to be? How are they going to be athletically? I know they've got a couple of uh, of pretty key players, but 
We just don't know. They were out. They had their open week like Mount Zion did last week, so nobody knows right. kind of what to expect out of this Villarica team. So it's exciting just to be here and to be able to see that. A, uh, a bigger school, Hebron Christian, looks like a uh, worthy opponent. And so this, this should really be a fun football game. Well, and the thing is, we had talked uh, a little bit here in this pregame show about – uh, Coach Barron, and, and, and you know when I when I was with him and sat down at media day again, there was just something about the tone of his voice, something about the confidence and relaxed, and and, and he just um, you know he just he just seemed like his team's going to be prepared to play football, not only here tonight but this season, and you know I, I, I'm just strictly going off of that that I believe that that coach believes in these kids, I believe he relates to them. And I believe that they're going to rise to the occasion, not only tonight, but each and every Friday night this year. Yeah, and I think that's a huge thing. If your head coach believes in you, yes. if your head coach is able, and he's on the younger side of things, so he's able to relate yeah. pretty easy with these high schoolers because, well, let's be honest, he's not far from right. a senior that high school itself. That's yeah. right. So he knows, he knows what they need. He knows how they react emotionally and everything, and – He's able to, I don't know, relate more to a culture that teenage boys need in the locker room, on the field, at practice, and anywhere else they are. Exactly. Well, again, you know, it's just going to be a great night of football. We're excited about being here at the MAC. Uh, and look at these facilities. I mean, tip your hat to the Carroll County School Board and, uh, and all the folks, uh, Scott Cowart, Glenn uh, Harden, and, and everyone. Because they made a commitment, Josh, to make sure that their Carroll County school system has as fine of facilities and, and everything that they can possibly give them, and they have done it. Jumbotrons, these brand new stands, these great big press boxes, nice turf fields, and I mean, you just can't say enough about what they've done. And I like the lights. Yes, I do too. The light but, show. But you're absolutely right. Any everywhere from right here in the Mac in Villarica, all the way to. Donald Mixon Stadium in Mount Zion. Carroll County Schools has really made a commitment to pour into these athletes, mm -hmm. to upgrade these facilities, to put the West Georgia area, especially the Carroll County School area, on the map for not only football, for but for athletics. Yeah, all athletics. And, and, and that's one of the things that our partnership with West Georgia TV and the Carroll County School System, we, together we've made a commitment. Yeah, to try to try and promote as many athletes and as many uh, athletic programs that we can, uh, and it, this right here is just another example of what we're doing, bringing it to you. This game, not only can you hear it, you get to see it, Josh. You get yeah. to watch it. I mean, it's fantastic. It's one of those things where if you're a Villarica fan and you didn't want to get out in the heat today, or you couldn't, or you couldn't get out in the heat, you can log on to WGTV on Facebook or YouTube and watch this game. If you're a fan of the Central Lions or the Bowden Red Devils or Mount Zion or Temple and you didn't go to their game, you can jump on to catch what we're doing here in Villarica because we're going to give you county school score updates throughout the game. And it's just one more thing that you can tune into and, uh, and really enjoy. Well, and there's, there's tons of coverage that's going to be over at Central tonight, Central oh, yeah. and Bowden. That's a big one. Uh, you got coverage with Tim and, uh, and Alex and Ryan and all the gang over at Harrelson County. So WBHS Sports has got you covered for Bremen Bowden game. And, yeah, and it, it, we wanted to be right here at Villarica we, this week. We wanted to be here and see if Coach Barron can get his first ever win and we can capture it on TV. And uh, excited about what our team has done. You know, our guys have worked really hard. Last week was a very tough broadcast. It was our first ever broadcast. We were on the road in a hostile situation, if you will, and uh, uh, and we were put into a situation where the Internet wasn't very good. But, you know, the guys got to set up. We're looking good so far tonight. Uh, excited about Zach Williams being a part of the team. Pastor Kevin Williams over at the Villarica First Baptist Church. Zach's uh, going to be running on the sidelines with a camera, and he's going to have a microphone. We'll go down and talk to him a little bit as well, and he'll have the coin toss and all. And it's just a real – it's going to be a great night of high school football. It is, and like I said last week, and I'll say it again tonight, I am just glad, even though it's 90 degrees outside right now, I am glad, and I know you are, that high school football's back. I am too. You know, the only thing, the only thing for me, and we were talking about it, me and Tim and, and, and Kale, 
uh, Wednesday was, you know, all the teams with the wet bulb and the heat and all that stuff having to practice in the morning when it's cooler instead of the evening. It's going to be tough on them tonight. Yeah. Not really going to be acclimated to getting on that. Like you said, if it's 90 degrees and the heat index is 96, down there on that field it's about 100. Oh, absolutely. You know, so I, I don't know. I just I'm, I, I kind of wish that they'd, they'd do it went back it, like it was when I was in school. And when I was in school, we didn't even start school or start playing ball after Labor Day. Right, right. So it gives it a few more weeks to cool off. The, the hottest two months of the year, July and August, yep. kids are in pads playing football. Even the little tykes, the little oh, yeah. heads in the rec department. Yeah, you know? absolutely. So I, I would like to see them maybe move it back to that. That'd be great. But I'm old and ancient, so I mean, I mean, I played when they actually had region playoff games. Well, I did too. Did you? Yeah. They had it all the way up to when you played. Absolutely. Good and we, lord! And I we thought you was just a young pup. We might have started a week or so before Labor Day, but I remember going to school for about a week and then having that Labor Day holiday off, and you didn't start football. And then I think next week, looking at the weather, you know, cool old, you know, jet stream Josh. Here. Yeah. It's going to cool off, you know, down to the cool 80s. But in the mornings, it'll be a lot cooler. So, yeah, fall's on its way. It just may take it a little bit longer to get here than we'd like. But the beauty of it is we're four minutes and 40 seconds away from kickoff and uh, kicking Villarica's season off. And what better way to do it than uh, being right up here on the porch here at the MAC. Going to take throw it uh, back to the studio. We're going to run around to block pace of bills and come back with kickoff. Villarica, Hebron Christian, right here on the Inception Energy Solutions, Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week, right here on WGTV. Old Fashioned Hardware Store. That's the best way to describe Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Remember when a person greeted you at the door and provided quality information and service? Or when salespeople were knowledgeable about hardware, plumbing, electrical, paint, and agricultural products? Take it further back, how about when lawn and garden seeds were scooped from bulk containers? At Messer Hardware, the best parts of the past are alive, well, and at the center of our business philosophy. We pride ourselves on offering the old-fashioned hardware store experience you grew up with. That's Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Since 1985, Osier Apparel has been a leading provider of custom apparel, specializing in corporate wear, custom t-shirts, and spirit wear. As a family-run business with over three decades of experience, they have established a reputation for delivering quality products and exceptional customer service to their clients. Choose Osier Apparel for all your custom needs. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Service is your go-to for all your mulching, brush cutting, trenching, grading, excavator services, and more. Over in 2018, Ryan and his team have made a commitment for customer service and satisfaction. For all your mulching and skid steer needs, give Ryan and his team a call at 678-378-0683. That's 678-378-0683. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Services in Bowden. Are you looking for a car? Welcome back at the Mac. Going to take and throw it down to uh, our man, Zach Williams. He's down on the field for the coin toss here tonight as Hebron and Villarica get ready to get it on. What you got, Zach? Are you looking for a, Are you looking for a car, a truck, or maybe one of those popular Jeeps? Look no further. James... He's down there. Your captains tonight for Villarica, number 60, Delantez Daniel, number 56, Austin Presley, number five, Jaden Terry, and number 12, Devin Barnes. And I have a roster for Hebron, but I don't know all the numbers that are down there. Do you have a roster? I do. It's right here on the phone. Oh, awesome. I didn't yeah. know that. I didn't have a chance to print it out, but we'll do the best we can with what we got out here. So it looks like Villarica has won the toss and decided to defer until the second half. 
So we're going to see the Wildcat defense right off the bat here early. You got to think that uh, that this defense, this defense may be some of Coach Barron's bread and butter. He came over as the defensive coordinator for the last couple of seasons, and so I bet he and Coach Michael Hilbert have worked pretty close together, developing this game plan and all that good stuff. So we're 40 seconds away from kickoff and getting it on in week two of high school football. Yeah, it's showtime, it's showtime, it's showtime. And these Villarica Wildcat coaches down there are shaking hands, loving on each other. They're ready. They they, they, they wanted to play last week. And that, that first week by, I mean, it's a little odd, Josh, but, you know, that you get an opportunity for another week's rest, another week's practice, another week preparing to start the season. But there's just something about when everybody else is playing, you want to play too. That's like tomorrow. They say Vanderbilt's going to kick off and play a little football. They're doing it so they can get some prime time. There you go. <laughs> Not a lot's happening, I don't guess, tomorrow for college football. But nonetheless, it's showtime. It's game time here in Villarica at the MAC. Hebron Christian, white on white with their dark helmets, red numerals. Villarica, purple on top of purple. Here they come. Here come the 2023 Villarica Wildcats. If you're at home, you can already get up, get on your feet, and start making some noise for this Villarica team. Here they come. I like the purple on purple look. I kind of like that home look. It looks really good. I've never seen them wear this. Have you? Have no, you ever seen them? I have not. Kind of a matte purple looking helmet. I like it. I do too. Looks Coach, really, really good. Coach Barron bringing in a little swag with him too, isn't That's, he? Absolutely. That's another thing from a younger coach that you get that you may not get from a from an old school kind of coach is a little, little new swag, new uniform flavors. So this is an east-west stadium, right? Which, e which, I, be I believe it is. Which is brilliant because the sun's not setting in our eyes. That's right. So Hebron's going to receive it first, and they're going to defend the west goal. Villarica's going to kick off to start this one. They're going to defend the east goal and the scoreboard. So I'm going to have to stand up, Josh. You know me. I can't sit down and call a football game. Absolutely. All right, so who you got for them? You got their roster, and you'll be able to tell me who they got for quarterback and all that good stuff, right? That's right. We have one roster for them. So if you're with Hebron and you're watching, then we, we're going to do our best. Josh has got to pull it up on his phone. And a lot of times that's very, very hard to call a game looking on your phone with a handwritten roster. Looks like back for Hebron. Is that 11 on the far side? It is. 11 is Avery Baller. Uh, junior quarterback, and then on the near side is that 23, Jarvis Matherin. Chris Melendez, little pooch kick, it's going to take a hit and it's going to drop, and Villarica is going to cover it well. They're going to have to get on it, does he Hebron. I've always called them Hebron, but I'm, I'm going to go by their real name, it's Hebron. Yeah. So they got it first and 10 from their own 30. What a beautiful view on that screen. Our guys are brought their A game this week as well, Josh. That's right. So Villarica is going to come out a four-man front, four-three defense, if you will. Man-to-man -man coverage, no safety. Well, they do got one, but they're going to walk him up. They're in an offset-looking eye within a gun. Now they're going to flop from left to right. It's like a power eye. Going to take turn, going to hand it. There go. Ooh, Ooh. five, zero. Jay Carter made himself a candidate for headhunter first play of the game. Right out of the bat, Devon Caldwell for Hebron Christian zero, took that, and uh, Jay Carter introduced himself in a violent way. Well, there's your leading candidate, first play of the game for headhunter. Ball more towards the near hash, going left to right for Hebron. Twins left, split right. They're going to take a man and move him in motion, going to hand it to that back 17. Quarterback's going to keep it straight up the gut. Now he's going to slip around midfield 
And it's going to be enough for a Hebron Christian first down around the Villaruca 47, 48 yard line. Yeah, Jaden Terry right there to make the tackle. Had that quarterback not slid down, he may still be running, or it might have been a, at least a little better, a foot race. All right, what, so what's his name? 17's your running back, your, your tailback. Now we've got an official timeout. He just gashed him right up the middle. Look at those big hogs that he's got in front of him on Hebron. Hebron. 16's quarterback is Thomas Stallworth. He's a junior. Look at the hogs up front. Now he's man. got a good looking offensive line to get behind. Good night. So I don't know what we're discussing here. They're sending five off. Maybe an equipment. Yeah, that's what problem. I'm thinking. So one's going to come on. Who do you say 16 was for them, the quarterback? Thomas Stallworth. Stallworth, the who's 17, the running back. It's Devon Carter. Carter? Cald Devon Caldwell, I'm sorry. Caldwell and Stallworth. Is that what you say? That's correct. So here we go. They got it first and 10 at their own 48-yard line. Going to take turn, going to hand it to that back 17. He's going to bounce outside, still on his feet, and he's going to get wrestled down. A helmet comes off. And he's going to be short of the first down, but maybe a gain of nine. Who lost their helmet? Did you see the yeah, number? Yeah, that was the tailback, Caldwell. So 17 is going to have to go out because his helmet come off, right? That is correct. So now they get, it looks like 22 and 23 is going to be in the backfield with Schofield. What would you say his name was? Stallworth. Stallworth. 22 is Christian Germanos, an 11th grader. And 23 is Jarvis Matherin. He's a sophomore. Double wing kind of look, if you will. Going to bring a man in motion. Twins to the right. Going to hand it. Nope. Quarterback's going to keep it. He's going to get to the edge, and he's going to get run out of bounds and run out of bounds hard over on that side. No gain. It's going to bring up a third down at about two situation for Hebron. So Stallworth pulled it, tried to keep it. One thing about it, this Villarica defense is not afraid to hit you whatsoever. Like I said, man, that's one thing that's getting me, though, is Hebron's got an offensive line that looked like a college team out here. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody's going about 285, wouldn't you think? Absolutely. Far hash for them, third down and a long one. Villarica's got man-to-man -man coverage. They're in an offset-looking eye and a gun. Going to bring 23 in motion again. Quarterback's going to keep it. He's going to run it right up the gut just inside the Villarica 40 down around the 39. Going to say the 38, and Stallworth's going to have enough for a Hebron first down. Just a, just a great little play call there by Hebron Christian. Just letting the quarterback keep it, take it, get behind those big hogs down front and get all he needed for a first down. So ball on the far hash. Hebron doesn't get in no hurry. Wide receivers to either side stacked up. I look in a gun. Going to hand it to 15 on the back side. He's going to cut up. He's going to lose a yard. Number 15, Barrett Bruce on the carry. Bruce, the ball carrier for Hebron. Just a great job there, Villarica's defense. Being right there around the ball. Hebron trying to run a little misdirection play. So second down and a long 10, almost 11. The Villarica 38-yard line. Ball on the far hash, twins left, split right. It's like an offset eye. Got a guy on a wing and a guy behind him and the quarterback. He's going to take, turn it to hand 17. He's going to get to the far edge. And he's going to get hit hard and run out of bounds by three. Three being Caleb Aker. Tackle made by number 22, Jeremiah Fuller. Again, I tell you, this Villarica defense is they're well disciplined so far. They're around the football every time Hebron Christian has run a play, it seems like. Jeremiah Fuller in on the tackle as well. They're down in seven. Now there's a timeout on the field. Hebron Christian takes it. We'll take it with them. This is the Inception Energy Solutions. 
Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week. Tullerucca and Hebron Christian right here on West Georgia TV. Are you looking for a car, a truck, or maybe one of those popular Jeeps? Look no further. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has been serving the West Georgia area for over 25 years, providing one of the largest inventories of quality trucks, cars, and SUVs in the region means you're guaranteed to find a model and trim which best suits your lifestyle. Once you settle on the perfect vehicle, meet with their team of finance experts. They can help secure you the terms and rate which best fits your lifestyle. Remember, there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. That's James O'Neill, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Bremen. 316 Family Medicine. Third down and a long six, call it seven. Hebron's going to come out of the timeout. They're going to go far hash. They're going to bunch up. So third and long. They're going to flop their guys over from left to right. Here we go. Quarterback's going to fake. Now he's going to roll. He's going to throw. He's got a man. And it's going to depend on the spot. They're going to give him the spot. And it looks like it's going to be enough for a Hebron first down, and it is. Yeah, not a bad, not a bad play call right there out of Hebron Christian. First time they had uh, attempted to pass all, all night. And, uh, yeah. Just got what they needed for that first down. Here on the near hash for them going left to right. The Villarica 27 yard line. Twins left, they're gonna stack their eye up on the right. They're tight, or got a guy in the slot. Gonna hand it to 17, he's gonna push, get out to the edge, and he's gonna get wrestled down around the 16 yard line. Gain of 11 and enough for another Hebron first down. Yeah, he got right behind that big 68. Their offensive lineman, that is, uh, Dean Maynard, a big senior, and he just let Maynard kind of lead the way and be a wrecking ball as you as it will and picked up a pretty good game. So far hash now, first and 10 at the Villarica 16-yard line for Hebron. Like I said, they don't get in any hurry, no need to. When you're just methodically moving the ball down the field, no sense in rushing the clock. This time, is that six? Yeah. Six on the tackle being Jace Radford. And 28, Des Drummonds. He turned. He caused him to turn the ball up a little earlier than he wanted to and let Jace Radford get all over him. So here we go. Loss of uh, about a yard. It's going to be second down and 11 from around the 17-yard line. Ball near, more near this hash. Split right, twins left. Two in the backfield, going to run their wing in motion, going to fake it. Quarterback's going to roll. He's going to look. He's going to get hit. And that's going to be a, stack and, a sack, and he's going to get hammered all the way back to around the 24-yard line. Does Stallworth. You couldn't draw that little, that little blitz package up right there for Villarica any better than what they did. And uh, got a big sack on the on the play. Third down and long is right where you want to be if you're a Vill the Villarica Wildcats. And uh, Sumo yep. Hare on the tackle. Him and Jay Carter. Jay Carter making his presence known early, and he's also making himself a candidate of the headhunter. Third down and about 19. Call it 20. Twins right, split left for Hebron. Quarterback's going to drop. He's going to look. Got a rush on. He's going to throw it up. Overshot his man. It's going to be fourth down. That was a fantastic. Looked like he came off the corner to rush the quarterback, and maybe he got rid of it a little quicker than he wanted to. Yeah, it's 16 stalwarts limping off. So he, it's fourth down in a bunch. You, you, they got a pretty good kicker from what I've seen. But it looks like the quarterback, Stallworth, is going to come limping back on. They're going to go for it here. But he try to punt it? Nope, here comes the kicker. Is that what that is? Nope. I thought they were running a kicker on. The kid they had kicking in pregame had a good leg. He did. Well, Villarica's called a timeout here. Well, let's hang out right here. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
good opportunity for us to thank our sponsors, ain't it, Josh? That's a great opportunity for us to do that. I need to pull them up here so I know who they are. Ah, yeah, it's the uh, Inception Energy Solutions Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week, so Inception Energy Solutions. Uh, and uh, everything we do is powered by 316 Healthcare. Also, James O'Neill, Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, Osier Apparel, Caliber One Construction, Arian Farm and Supply, Messer Hardware, Whitley Skids here, Incredible Pup Lemonade, and I feel like I'm forgetting something. I feel like I'm going to. So here we go, fourth down and a long 19, if you will, at the 19 or, or 24 yard line for Hebron. Far hash going left to right. Twins right, split to the left. They got a man in the slot, empty backfield with Stallworth. He's limping. Villarica, the Wildcat, showing the three man front. Villarica faithful making some noise. Stallworth's going to drop. He's going to look. He's going to throw pick. It's intercepted. Who's got it? One's got it. He's running around the left sideline, Carson Nally, and he's going to get hit around the 23, and it's Villarica's football. First turnover of the game, Carson Nally and the Wildcats. I'm telling you what, Carson Nally played that, played that pass perfectly. Dropped back into coverage, read the quarterback's eyes, and when he let the ball go, Carson Nally came up and caught it like he was running the route himself. So now we get to see the 2023 debut of Carson Alley in this Villarica offense here on the near hash going right to left at their own 22 yard line. Trips right, split left, single set. And is that Carter at quarterback? That's Zay Bell. It is Number Bell. Number seven. That's right. Zay Bell. So four wide for the Wildcats, four man front for the lines of Hebron Christian. Bell's going to pitch it to two, Carson, I mean, uh, Reed, and he's going to drive up over the 30, close to the 31-yard line, and that's going to be a gain of about eight. Not a bad not a bad play call there for Villarica, a little speed option, getting Bell and Reed in the, into work early with a great gain. Farhash going right to left. Hurry up offense. Guy in a wing, single set. Bell's your quarterback. Twins left, split to the right. Now they're going to look for the change of the play. Four-man front four of the Lions. Going to hand it to two. He's going to drive and still fighting for yardage. Going to run it all the way up around the 34. That's enough for James O'Neill. Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Villarica first down. Absolutely. Villarica's got a good-looking offensive line as well, and they did their job right there and created that good hole for Caden Reed to grab that first down. So Villarica's got it. First and 10 from their own 34-yard line. Receivers to either side, double wing look, single set is Reed. And Bell is your quarterback, going to flop a man from left to right, going to take turn, going to hand it to Reed. He's going to stutter step, get outside, break a tackle. Still on his feet. Look at the little man, lower his head and running up over the 40 to the 41. He's trying to nominate himself for headhunter of the week tonight as well. Is as, a as running back. Is Caden Reed as a running back. Not big as a minute, but that doesn't bother him a bit. He runs like he's ever been at 215 pounds. Gain of seven, second down and three here at the Villarica 41. Going right to left. Receivers to either side. Bell's in a gun. Going to take, he's just going to stutter step and run behind his big fullback. And he's going to pick up one maybe to the 42-yard line. It's going to break up a third down and about two and a half, maybe three. Hebron Christian did a great job of just stacking that up right there. And, uh keeping Bell to a minimal gain. Third and three for the Wildcats. So third down and a long two, call it three. Twins right, split left here on the near hash. Got a guy in the wing, single set, that's Reed. And Bell's your quarterback. Going to bring a man in motion, going to hand it to Reed off the edge. He's going to slip, cutting back in. So he's going to go probably for no gain. It's going to be a fourth down and three situation. And the first... Big decision 
of his career for head coach Austin Barron. What would you do right here, Tom? You know what? I, I, I wouldn't be scared to go for it. I think that Villarica has got an opportunity this year to just roll the dice and let's see what happens. Yeah. And that's what they're going to do. Twins right, split left, got a guy in a wing like a nasty back there in the four-man front, Bell and Reed in the backfield. Now, Reed's going to go out. Bell's just going to take it. He's going to run. He's going to drive big body. He may get – I don't know if he made it or not. It's going to depend on the spot of this one. If they give him the spot that it looks like the far guy's giving him, it's going to be a uh, James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram first down. Well, that's where they're marking it, but I can't tell from here. It's going to be very close. Close enough that they'll have to bring the chains out. They're going to have to measure it. If he made it, he made it just by the nose of the football. What a pretty good spot, really, I think. Yeah. So, we got an official timeout. They're going to measure it. We're going to see what it is. So he's, a, he's at least uh, half a football short. And the ball go over on downs. It'll be first and 10 Hebron Christian at the Wildcat 44-yard line. Just shy of it. Had they had made the 44, it had been a first down. You're exactly right. And still not, you know, not a bad play call there out of the offense. He's been pretty well doing what he's wanted to and gaining three or four yards a pop most of the afternoon so far. So do I have a new quarterback in the game? Or is that, is that another number, a quarterback for them? Yes. Is it 15? I believe it's 15. I believe Stallworth. That's going to be Barrett Bruce. He's a junior. They're going to bring a man in motion. Bruce is going to take. He's going to come off the edge. He got hammered. Good night. Three. Caleb Aker. Now, there's your headhunter candidate right there. I'm I don't know if that'll be top. Good Lord. That looked like Zach Dumas hitting Stacy Danley in the 1990. I'm going, a cotton bowl. I'm going to tell you what. Barrett Bruce just felt that in his medulla oblongata. I guarantee you he did. And he felt it everywhere else, too. My goodness, Kayla Baker. Come on in and introduce yourself to the new quarterback. So, Aker is now your leading candidate for headhunter here in the first quarter of this one. 134, 33 clock running. Quarterback's going to keep it. He's going to get hit again. Three was coming after him again. He's still on his feet. Now is the ball down, but Villarica's got the football. There's a flag. I, I think that, that the runner was down. Flag on the play. Three, Aker is shaking up on the play. As well as their quarterback. Something new the Carroll County Schools have implemented this year, and I don't know all the details, but I can tell you that every single high school now has an athletic trainer on site. Yeah, that's fantastic. And this, of course, is a uh, 316 urgent care injury timeout. And yeah, that, that's fantastic that Carroll County Schools has decided to partner with, I believe it's Southern Therapy, to make sure that a certified right. athletic trainer is – with each football team in Carroll, football team Carroll County Schools has. So we still have an urgent care injury timeout. There's one of their players are down too. We got unsportsmanlike conduct on Hebron. Unsportsmanlike conduct call against Hebron Christian. So that's going to back them up. Back across on their side of the 50-yard line, all the way back inside their own 46. So they're going to have it second down and a bunch from their own 46-yard line. Yeah, I hope Akers is okay, and I want to get him back in the football game. That kid ain't scared to hit you. Nobody on it looks like they, like, yeah. looks like you were right. Villarica likes to hit. Absolutely. They're a hard-nosed defensive football team. Well, their head coach used to like to hit Absolutely. pretty good, too. 
So here we go, second down and a bunch from their own 46-yard line are the Lions of Hebron Christian. Coach Verlin best to say this is second down and an axle greasing, third down and an axle greasing. I believe he's uh, somewhere in the stadium watching this ball game now. He may be in his truck. Bar hash, split left, twins right for them. Offset looking either in and I, but behind the tackle. Quarterback's going to drop that Stallworth. He's back in. He's going to throw it. He's got a man ah, in and out of the hands. And Stallworth threw, an, uh, threw kind of a wobbly duck-looking pass, but it hit him right in the hands. He did. I'm not sure if he'd have came down with it in bounds. It looks like he was getting really close to the sidelines, but that was a pretty pass from Stallworth and a great route by Garrett Kemp. Excuse me, Jarrett Kemp. So fourth down in a bunch. Now we're going to see their punt unit. Back deep 14, Jeremiah Taylor for the Wildcats. He's going to back up, stand back around his own 22, 23 yard line. Their guy standing at his 33, and then he'll punt it away. 114 to play here in the first quarter. Nothing to nothing, your score. Now there's a flag, delay a game against Hebron. That's going to back him up five more. Delay of game against the Lions. Flag on the play. Yeah, yeah. That's a flag on the play. <laughs> I like it. Number 12, Justin Horning. <laughs> Did he just play? That's a flag on the play? Yeah, yeah. I like it. <laughs> so back to the 41 now. Their guy's going to stand back around his own 27-yard line. And Taylor... Now there's another penalty. Ooh, Taylor was going to have some room to run. Flag on the play. He was going to have plenty of room to run. I believe I see my good friend, Miss Peggy Garner, down in front of me. Horace Garner's beautiful wife. Oh, yeah. I'm... Pretty positive that's who that is. So what do we got, Josh, are they saying? It was a false start called against Hebron Christian. So it backed him up five more. Now it's almost fourth down and two axle greasings. It's a short bus ride for sure. Taylor standing back around, he's on 30. Their guy gets a good snap, wobbly end over end kick. And Taylor's going to call for the fair catch, and now it's going to hit. It's going to take a Hebron roll down inside the 30 to the 28. <clears throat> Bill Rico put it in play first and 10 from their own 28-yard line. Not bad at all. Pretty good first quarter of football. Nothing's really been over the 50-yard line hardly. So ball in the middle of the field for Villarica, their second possession of the game. 57 seconds left here in the first quarter. Nothing to nothing. Got us a little scoreboard this week, too, don't we? We do. and everything. Aaron's pretty smooth, man. So here we go. Trips right, split to the left, single set, bells and a gun. They're in a four man front with a couple of backers. There's a flag. I believe that's going to be false start called against the Wildcats. False start on the Wildcats. So Villarica is going to back up five, and it's going to be first and 15. From their own, what is that, 23-yard line? Yes. Same set, ball in the middle of the field, trips right, split left, single set. Bell's going to drop, he's going to look, he's going to throw, and he, I'm not sure if he was showing, throwing to the underneath guy or the guy over the top, but either way, he missed them both. Absolutely. And Hebron was in, Hebron Christian was in pretty good coverage and had the, uh, had the defensive back not gone for the knockout shot on the receiver and had his eyes up, he may could have picked that ball off. Second 15 from the 23. 53 seconds to play. Now it looks like Bell is out at quarterback, and number 10, Will Wallace, is the quarterback for the Wildcats, and I believe that's Coach Best's grandson. It is William Wallace. 
as in Braveheart. Braveheart. He's going to take turn, going to hand it to Reed. No, he's going to keep it. The ball hit the ground, and Wallace had to pick it up. I thought Reed had it, but the ball hit the ground. Good job on defense there by Hebron Christian. So that's going to go as a sack. Absolutely. Third down and about 18. 29, 28, 27 seconds. Clock running here in the first quarter. Villarica is going to try to run a play. So Wallace is going to split out now. Bell's back at quarterback. He's in a gun. Trips left. Got a guy on the wing going to bring Reed in motion and put him in the backfield. Bell's going to fake it. Now he's going to roll and he's going to look. He's going to throw. And it's a great job of getting rid of the football and, to, and getting rid of the sack. Absolutely. So it's going to be fourth and a bunch, and Villarica is going to have to kick it away. Pretty much a defensive football game right now. Yep. That, that is the end of the first quarter now. What are they going to do? Are they going to play a play? So, yeah, we're going to take a break, flop into the field, come back with the second quarter. Nothing to nothing here from the back, Villarica and Hebron. It is the Inception Energy Solutions Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week here on WGTV. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316 Family Medicine US. 316 Family Medicine, a fresh approach to health care. Are you thinking of buying or selling land in West Georgia? Cal Hardy is one of West Georgia's top agents and would love to help you. Whether you're looking to buy or sell hunting land, farmland, or a rural home, Cal has the experience and expertise to help you. Find him on Facebook or call Cal at 770-296-2163. Into the second quarter. It's going to be fourth down and a bunch for the Wildcats. They're going to have to kick it away. And that's how this second quarter start here from Villarica. Nothing to nothing. Great defensive uh, game so far. Pretty you like defense, it's happening. Absolutely. Pretty fast first quarter of football as well. Yes. Sun's going down. It's cooling Number off. I'm about ready to. Me and you about almost back to our fighting weight after all this <laughs> heat today. Absolutely. <laughs> So here we go. Their no, guy standing sure. back around the Number Villarica 46 Justin yard line. Is line. that Wallace kicking? Oh, I can't see the number. Line drive kick, 12's gonna take it and he's just gonna get stood straight up and hammered right at the line as soon as he caught it. Nonetheless, gonna be great field position for the Lions of Hebron Christian. First and 10 from the Villarica 48 yard line. Yeah. The only thing I can figure out is he caught that to keep it from rolling a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, you just don't do that once the kicking team is on you as close as they are. Well, and if it had hit, it could have rolled another 15, 20 yards. Well, that, but he did take a shot and pay for them yards. Yeah, that is true. Here on the near hash, football going right to left. Hebron. Second quarter, 11.49 to play. Nothing to nothing your score. I just can't get over how big these cats, and that's the beauty of being able to see it on TV. When I talk about how big these linemen are, you get to see it on Absol TV. Absolutely. They're going to run 23, going to string him out to the far side at zero. Again, making his presence known. Jay Carter with another play. Not a bad play call by Hebron Christian. It looked like at first they were going to get that corner and be able to take off, and then Jay Carter comes out of nowhere. And this says not today. Carter playing out of his mind here in the early going. Farhash going right to left. Twins left, split right. Got a guy in a wing, single set. Stallworth is in a gun. Villarica showing blitz, and it's going to happen. They're going to get a sack. Who is it? Is that 36? That is 36. I don't have a 36. Wish they'd tell his name because I don't. 
38. 38. Luke Hale. Hale. Luke Hale with the sack. Third and Carroll County for the Lions. Get on your feet and make some noise. It's third down. Third down and a small bus ride for the Lions. Big defensive play here. Far hash, split right, twins left. Offset eye in the backfield, single set, I mean, uh, in a gun. Stallworth's got time, he's gonna step up and he's just gonna throw it away. And, ooh, not too sure that that wasn't, what do you call it, intentional grounding. He really wasn't outside the tackle box. No, he wasn't, but I guess they were saying that that catch, it was about 20 yards from away from the ball was close in, enough to in it. The vicinity. Yeah. So I guess. here we go. They're going to have to kick it. Josh, another punt. Not many first downs in this game thus far. No score. A lot of punting. Great More punting than anything. Absolutely. Great job on defense so far by both squads. And number 14, Jeremiah Taylor back to return for the Lions. Taylor standing back around their own, his own 28-yard line. Their guy standing around his 27. High snap. He's going to kick it. End over end kick is going to take and hit at the 34. Check up around the 30. Punt rolls dead at the wild so it, it checks back up, comes back. Now, Villarica hot. So, Villarica is going to have it first, first and 10, 10 from their own 31. Get to see this Wildcat offense again. and see if they can cross the 50 on this drive. So Villarica's gonna have it on the far hash, going left to right. They're defending the west, and Hebron the east here in the second quarter. Single set is Reed. Bell's your quarterback, four wide, two to the right, two to the left. Gonna bring one of them in motion. Now there's a flag. Are they gonna call two of them moved? I believe they are. Yep. False start against the Wildcats. They had a man in motion. Five yard penalty. And then they had their first backs to the step. Central's up seven to nothing in the first quarter over Bowden. And I believe Carrollton's up 14 to nothing over South Paulding in the first quarter. Freeman and Harrelson, have they kicked off yet? They they've, kicked off at eight, right? They've kicked off. North Paulding and East Paulding's tied at seven. So far hash, four wide. Bell's gonna keep it, run the quick pitch to the far side. 12's gonna get tripped up around the 28 yard line and had he got through that arm tackle, he was 98 and out of the gate. He was, he really was. As Devin Barnes. So second down and about 13 for the Wildcats from their own 28. From their own 28. Here on the near hash, clock running, 9.42-41, second quarter, nothing, nothing. Twins right, split left, got a guy on the wing, single sets Reed, Bell's your quarterback. Three-man front for Hebron, gonna bring a man in motion, gonna hand it to him, no, back to Reed inside, and he's gonna drive up over the 30 to the 31, the original Run by two, line of scrimmage. Cedar Town up 10 7 in the first over Callaway, and Rock Mart's up 15 0 on Walker. Gordon Central. Check that. That was Rock Mart's up 3 0 over Cass. They, played yeah, Gordon, they beat Gordon Central in softball. Yeah. So here it is third down and 10 from the 31. Ball closer to the near hash here to the left. Twins left, split right. Got a guy on a wing, reads your single set. Bell's at quarterback. Bell's a big old kid, ain't he? He really is. He's going to drop, going to throw. He's got a man. He's got a block. 12's going to get tripped up around the 43 yard line, but that's going to be enough for a James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram first down for the Wildcats. Perfect play call there in that little tunnel screen that Villarica just ran. And uh, he, did, he did exactly what he needed to do. It did Barnes. He caught the ball, got behind those two big offensive linemen, and he was off for a first down. So here it is at the 45. Ball in the middle of the field. Twins left, split right, single set. Now they're going to move a man from the wing. 
Out and it's four wide. Bell's going to drop. He's going to look. He's going to throw. And that's pass interference. Yes, it is. They're going to throw the flag. Absolutely. I mean, that was. So Barnes gets taken out. And the Hebron faithful won't. The, uh, it was uncatchable call. I don't think the uncatchable call is a thing in high school football, though. I know. I don't think it is. Either. And he pretty well got clotheslined. Is it? Yeah. I don't think it is. Nonetheless, going to be a 15-yard penalty. And another James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram first down for the Wildcats of Villarica. Inside the Hebron territory. First down and 10 from Hebron's 40-yard line. Ball in the middle of the field. Split right, twins left for the Wildcats. Got a guy in a wing to the right. Single set three. Now they're going to walk up and go man to man and go press. Going to bring 12 in motion. Going to hand it to Reed. He's going to get behind his blocker. Spin, drive. Down inside the third at 35 to the 32. And that's not Reed. That's five. Jaden Terry. Try. Terry did a great job there with that run. Hit that hole as quick as he touched the ball. And that offensive line just created enough space for him to get through for a pretty good gain on first down. Gain of eight, second two. Ball in the middle of the field at the 32-yard line of Hebron. Wallace is coming back in. There's your play call. Twins right, split left. Got a wing in the to the left. And I believe that that's five Terry. Now he's going to split out. Now we got a timeout. Timeout. Villarica will take it with them. This is the Inception Energy Solutions Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week on WGTV. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316familymedicine.us. 316 Family Medicine, a fresh approach to health care. Since 2005, Caliber 1. Set 7.03 to play here in the second quarter. Nothing to nothing. Villarica's on a drive. Second down and two from their own 30, I mean from the Hebron 32-yard line. Thank you for your support. Everybody getting them a little something to drink here at the timeout. Look at R.B. making his way around with a water bottle to make sure the officials are taken care of. Leave it to R.B. to make sure the take care of the officials. He's, hey, he's t taking care of business out there. T.C.B., baby. Look, there it is. Yes. Yes. Great camera work, guys. He does it all. That was beautiful. And the old sun goes down, it's still a little sweaty and, and <laughs> misty, I mean, as far as the uh, humidity is concerned. But it sure feels the sight better than it did about an hour and a half ago. You got that right. So here we go. Villarica's ready to roll out of the timeout. Second down and two, ball in the middle of the field. Trip right, split lefts. Your only back's in a wing to the left. Bell in a gun. They're showing a three-man front with a man walked up. Now they're going to rotate in the secondary. Bell's going to roll. Now he's going to get step up, and now he's going to look and throw. What a play. Bell, he's got Wallace. Wallace is going to catch it, drive down inside the 20, and out around the 16. But what a play by seven, Bell. Fantastic play right there. Had the guy wrapped around his waist, and that just kind of shows you the strength that Zay Bell has. And he hit Wallace just in perfect stride, and Wallace was able to do what he does to get another first down for Villarica. Ball here on the near hash. It's another James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram first down for the Wildcats. Near hash at their 15. Villarica threatening, 6.30, 29, clock running, second quarter, split right. Twins left, going to bring a man in motion, going to hand it to 
two read, and he's going to sidestep a guy. He tripped in the backfield, almost fell. Off to two, he's going to gain a yard to the, what is that, the 14-yard line. Oh, yeah. Taken down by number nine, Tyson Craig. Craig with the tackle for them. The old turf monster came into play there for Reed. Yeah, had he hit it without the stumbling, I believe he could have gotten to the edge. I think he could have. 556, 55, 54, clock running, second quarter, second and nine from the 14 of Hebron. Little Rook is going to go far hash, trips right, split left, single set. Now, is that five or is that two? That's two now this time, Reed, right? Bell's going to keep it. He's going to drive. Touchdown. Bell. Villarica strikes first. Just a great, great little quarterback keep player out there. And Bell got behind those offensive linemen. They created huge space. And once Bell got into space, it was all Zay Bell. And he would not be denied to put six up on the board for Villarica. So the whole first quarter and most of this second quarter or the start of it anyway was all defense. But Villarica put together a drive and Zay Bell takes it in from 14 yards out. High snap. Wallace is going to roll with it and he's going to get sacked. And extra point attempt's no good. 5.35 to play here in the first, uh, second quarter. Villarica strikes first and they lead six to nothing. This is the Inception Energy Solution, Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week on WGTV. Since 2005, Caliber One Construction has provided the highest level of quality, integrity, and satisfaction in every aspect of their company. While empowering their employees to address the ongoing needs of their clients in an ever-changing environment. Through a passionate work ethic and innovative spirit. Founders Jeannie and Chris Elliott have made a commitment to customer service and customer satisfaction. That's why Caliber One Construction goes by the motto "Height: how you prepare every day. Caliber One Construction, proud partner of WGTV and WGTV Sports. Located on 535 to play here in the second quarter and the Wildcats strike first, missed extra point, and they lead it six to nothing. That was a fantastic offensive drive there by the Villarica Wildcats. They were <coughs> assisted by that pass interference call on third and long, which it absolutely was. But other than that, they just put together a fantastic drive and just moved the ball methodically down the field and hit pay dirt. Melendez going to drive their guy all the way back around the seven-yard line. He's going to come straight up the far side. He's going to get hit. He's going to break a tackle sidestep. Still on his feet. What a run by their guy, but he's going to get planted around the 35-yard line. They're going to save the 34, and Hebron will put it in play first and 10. Great job there by J.T. Hornick on the, uh, on the return. He wasn't afraid to run the ball there. Broke a couple of tackles, and before Villarica finally corralled him down. Six to nothing, 5.22 to play here in the second quarter. <clears throat> Their guy's going to run it. Right up the left side. Going to pick up about five to the 39. Be second down for Hebron. Number 18, Omar Holland on the tackle for the 1. clock running. Guy in motion, going to hand it off. Now there's a whistle. And is it a flag? Double motion again. 13 out here was flag moving. He never got out here and got set 13, did No, he? he did not. Really? What did they call it? Illegal substitution. Well, they had two guys moving. I, I seen that. Yeah. Right? Am I yeah. crazy? No, you're not. Well, you're cra you, I am crazy. crazy, but, you, but not you're not on that, that instance. Illegal substitution. 
So first down, Hebron at the 44-yard line there, 44. Farhash got a guy on a wing, slot man. Receivers to either side, got a single set. Stallworth, your quarterback, going to rank 20 in motion. He's going to take, hand it to, is that 17? It is. And that is zero again. Is that Carter? No, that's six. Radford. Radford's made a couple of plays here tonight. He has. He has. Devin Caldwell on the carry for Hebron Christian. So second down and a long seven from the 46-yard line of Hebron. Far hash, 423, 22, clock running, six to nothing, Villarica. Stallworth's going to take a step. Now he's going to throw an out, and he's got a guy, and Villarica's going to have to wrestle him down inside the 45, down around the 44. That's a first down for them. Wasn't a bad little out route there that Hebron Christian ran. He got to the sticks and the sidelines and sort of sort of ran off the defensive back, came back for the football. Good little pitch and catch there. Hebron's got going. Far hash at the 44 of Villarica. Hebron's on a drive, going to hand it to 23, and he's going to get take it out. Is that six again? I think it's six. Yep. Yes. Radford for a tackle for loss. Loss of a couple. It's going to bring up second down and 12 from the 46. Far hash going right to left for Hebron. 3 17, 16 clock running, 6 to nothing. Villarica leads it, and they're going to hand it to that back. He's going to drive inside the 45 to the 43. It's going to bring up a third down and about. Nine, call it eight, nine, gain of four. And number 55, Jonathan Dinkins. Third down, make some noise. It's third down. 247, 46, clock running. First half, Villarica leads it six to nothing, but Hebron's on a little drive. Big defensive stand here. Flag, false start against the Lions. Cat fight, Wildcats and Lions tonight, right? Absolutely. And a good little cat fight. I found me a cool spot underneath the fan. Well, coolish. Kind of coolish, is that what you said? <laughs> yeah, kind of coolish. Third and 13 for the Lions. Third down and 13 now for Hebron. Far hash, twins left, split right. They got a single set, 17. And then the quarterback still limping a little, Stallworth. Clock continues to run, Stallworth's gonna drop. There's another flag. Gonna be delay a game this time, called against Hebron Christian. And they just keep shooting themselves in the foot, backing themselves on up. Yeah, this is a couple of drives that they've tried to have, but they keep, they keep, like I said, shooting themselves, shooting themselves in, the in the foot. Yeah, absolutely. So third and about 18 now for Hebron. Back on their side of the 50. Far hash. Twins left, split right, single set. Stallworth's your gun. He's the quarterback. Now, Hebron's going to have to call timeout. Timeout on the field. We'll take it with them. The Inception Energy Solutions, Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week here on WGTV. Located on 30 Dot Road in Bowden, Arian Farm and Rent Supply opened their doors in April of this year. With backyard gardening essentials as their main focus, there is so much more at Arian Farm and Ranch Supply. They also serve as a full-scale farm supplier, and there's even some fencing options you can choose from. So stop by Arian Farm and Ranch Supply today for some free coffee and all of your farming needs. 
Inception Energy Solutions specializes in utility construction and maintenance, including distribution, substations, underground and overhead, and control wiring. They have a federal approved and accredited apprenticeship program working in nine states across the southeast. If you're looking for an exciting career like former Blue Devil Brody Doss or Trevor Roberts, give Jerry Pounds or Hillary a call at 404-783-8646. Also, check them out online at InceptionSolutions.com. So join the over 70 employees that have made IES their home. That's Inception Energy Solutions. Third down and 18 for the Lions of Hebron. 155 to play here in the second quarter. Six to nothing. Villarica leads it. Twins right, split left, going to bring a man out of the backfield, going to throw it down the middle. Five's going to catch it, and then he drops the football. Is it incomplete? Is that what they're saying? I yes. think so. Looks like he took a couple of steps, though, to me, didn't you? Well, there's a lot of moving parts out there to that completion. We've got an injured Wildcat down on the field. We'll take a 316 urgent care injury timeout with – Minute 49 left to go in the first half of football, and it will be fourth down and long for the Lions of Hebron Christian. Quarterback took a shot on, on that as he let the ball go. Their receiver took a shot. Good hits going on out here tonight. Yeah, both teams came to hit, especially this Villarreal defense. Taylor's up. He's walking off on his own, so that's a good sign. Absolutely. So fourth down in a bunch. Got to think Hebron's going to kick it here, right? What do you think? You would think, but there's no telling. I, oh, I have been wrong before one time, and back in 1978, I was about eight Number years 12, old. Justin <laughs> uh, back deep to punt. And back for the I really thought the Falcons were going to win the Super Bowl, Alley. and I called it out, and they didn't. So I was wrong. I've been there as well. So here we go. They're going to kick it. Now, who's back deep? Taylor's usually the one, but he was the one getting helped off. High wobbly kick, very short kick. It's going to take a Hebron bounce, though. And then it's just going to roll down inside the Villarica 30, down around the 26. That's where they'll put it in play. First and 10 Wildcats from their own 26. 135 to play, 6 to nothing. They lead. Now, Villarica is going to get the ball to start the second half. Do you just run the ball and be vanilla here? And if you break off something, then maybe you try to do something? Or are you, are you trying to move the ball down to score? Well, I would. I think you try to score. At least the first play. Let's see what we can Absolutely. come up with. We gain, you know, 10, 15 yards here. Then let's get in a little hurry and see if we can at least get that yeah. kick a field goal, right? Yeah. Carrollton's up on South Paulding 28 to nothing Ooh. in the first half. Central Bowden still 7 nothing. Those are the only two scores that we have in this area or this county. Bell's going to take it. They're going to corral him. He's going to throw it. Are they going to call it intentional grounding or not? I think he was outside the tackle. Pass is incomplete. He was outside the tackle box, and there was a Wildcat receiver over there close in the area. All right, so Bell's going to come off his helmet. Something wrong with his helmet now. Wallace is going to go under center. Or... Take the snap. Nobody ever goes under center anymore. So Not much. Far hash. Twins left, split right. Wallace is your quarterback. Man to man coverage for them. Going to bring a man in motion. Going to take, going to fake it. Nope. Going to get it to Reed. Reed's going to get to the edge and then he's going to get knocked out of bounds. And now there's a flag. There's a 15 yard penalty. With 121 to play, you got a couple of timeouts. Yeah, now you can make a move and see if you can't put some boards Yeah, on the get board. those ears pinned back if you're on offense and see if you can't score a touchdown right here before halftime and then get the ball back in the second half and try to come back out and do it again. Personal foul, late hit. 
So late hit on them. By number one, Nick Wade. That's going to be a James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram first down for the Wildcats. Ball has moved all the way up close to midfield, first and 10 from their own 48. Farhash going left to right. Villarica has two timeouts left. Is that what I'm showing or one? One. Twins left, split right, going to bring a man in motion. Bell back at quarterback. He's going to fake it. Now he's going to roll and look. He's going to throw. He's got a man. 12, caught it at their 45. Pass complete to number 12, Devin Barnes. Barnes. Yeah, Devin Barnes ran a great route there, caught the ball, immediately got out of bounds, let Villarica save that timeout. Going to be about second and four. Gain of six. So ball here on the near hash, going left to right for the Wildcats. One twelve to play here in the second quarter. Plenty of time, especially with a timeout. Oh, yeah. Near hash, four wide, two to the right, two to the left. Single set, Bell's in a gun. They're showing a three-man front with a guy walked up. Bell's going to drop. Good protection. Now he's going to throw. He's just kind of overshot and it went through the hands of Wallace and then their guy's going to hit him and there's a flag. Yeah. That's going to be another 15-yard penalty against them. And a Villarica first down. A James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram first down. I, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I don't know. Unless he, unless whenever he pushed, now I'd have to go back to see a replay, but he may have tried to hit him in the head. Yeah, that's true. But just the play, just the little contact, I don't, I don't know. Nonetheless, it's going to be another Villarica first down. So, like I said, a James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram first down at the 30. They're 30. 107 with a timeout left. Villarica's in good shape. Twins left, twins right. That's four wide to you and I. Here on the near hash. Terry's your back. Bell's going to drop. They're going to get a rush on, and then Big 55's going to hammer him home, and that's a sack. About a loss of 10 yards. And that may be the worst thing that I've seen Bell do yet, and he yeah. just held on to the ball yeah. too long. Timeout called by Villarica. They've used their last timeout of the half with we'll, about 56 seconds left. We'll keep it right here. Who are our sponsors this season, Tom? Man, we have a ton of them. We do. We have some good people, too. We got a lot of good people. I got to find my, my thing. We know we got Inception Energy Solutions. 316 Healthcare, Caliber One Construction, Osier Apparel, Aryan Farm and Supply, Messer Hardware, Whitley Skid Steer, Inception Energy Solutions, like I said, Incredible Pulp, and Arrowhead with uh, Cal Hardy. That was uh, one of the ones I missed earlier. Yeah. Am I missing anyone else? I don't think you are. James O'Neill. I'm missing somebody else. I'm missing somebody, and I can't think of who it is. Fifty-six seconds to play here in the first half. Second down and twenty from the forty-yard line of Hebron. Empty backfield, five wide for Villarica. Four to the left, one to the right. Going to bring a man in motion from left to right. Bell's going to drop. He's going to look. He's going to throw. Wallace went up and almost caught it. And if he would have, it would have been a first down down around the 15. Absolutely. Great, great play call there out of Villarica. Great ball. Wallace went up and just had it knocked out of his hands. 
So I stopped the clock with 51 seconds. Bring up third down and about 20 for Villarica. 51 seconds left in the first half. Here on the near hash for the Wildcats. Twins left and twins right. That's four wide. Two reads your single set. They're showing the three-man now blitz. Going to step up, try to throw it away, and now they're going to call a flag, and that's going to be an intentional grounding. That's going to be a loss of downs and a 10-yard penalty, and it's going to be fourth and a long bus ride. Absolutely. And it stops the clock for Heber and Christian. Who's got two timeouts themselves, trailing yep. six to nothing to the Wildcats. So now on this drive, you got Villarica shooting themselves in the foot. Yes. So Wallace is going to kick it away. Their guy's standing back at his own 20. It is definitely uh, fourth and definitely a bus ride for the Wildcats here. Fumbled to punt. Now he's going to run with it. What is he? I don't understand why he didn't kick it. Do you? I don't either. Unless but he, he was running and he's not left footed. So. Yeah. So he's just going to run as far as he can. And he's going to get tackled down around their 44, 45 yards. They're going to give him the 46. So Ebron's in good position. 36 seconds with two timeouts. Yeah, I guess that was exactly why he couldn't kick the ball. He was running, running left the, yeah, towards the right. left, and not a left-footed kicker at all. I think if he'd have been running to his right, he'd have got a kick off. Don't Absolutely. You? So here goes Hebron. Quarterback's going to drop. He's going to throw. He's got twelve. He's going to get hit. Now he's going to get crowd and uh, wrestle down around the 47-yard line. They're going to give him forward progress to the 48. That's a gain of two. 22, 21, 20 seconds, clock running. They do got three timeouts, and they're really not getting in any hurry. I would be trying to score right here, wouldn't you? Absolutely. At least get in position to kick a field goal. Well, you you would think they're in a, in a bad hurry to get some points on the board, but they're just going to let the clock run out, seems like. Stallworth is going to drop, and he's going to throw it down that right side, and his guy stopped, checked up, and missed the football. That's going to do it for the first half. We played a half here from the back. Villarica six, Hebron nothing. We're going to run around the block, going to pay all the bills, and come back, and we're going to show you the high school marching band from Villarica. It's the Inception Energy Solutions, Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week right here on WGTV. Looking for some of the best lemonade in West Georgia? Steve and his crew at Incredible Pulp Lemonade are serving up sunshine by the cup. With an extensive menu that includes strawberry, cherry lemonade, and watermelon, the menu also boasts a peach mango lemonade with natural peach puree stirred in the mix. If you are looking for your own cup of sunshine, give them a call or follow their Facebook page at Incredible Pulp Lemonade. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram is a family-owned and operated dealership serving West Georgia and East Alabama and supporting high school sports since the doors opened in 1990. Whether it's sales, service, parts, or financing, we're here for all your automotive needs. As the service and satisfaction winner for the past eight years and the number one Ram dealer for the past 16 years, it's guaranteed that there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. If you can't make it out to see us, we'll deliver a unit straight to your doorstep. So give us a call today or visit us online at O'NeillDodge.com, where we make the buying experience easy. Old Fashioned Hardware Store. That's the best way to describe Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Remember when a person greeted you at the door and provided quality information and service? Or when salespeople were knowledgeable about hardware, plumbing, electrical, paint, and agricultural products? Take it further back. How about when lawn and garden seeds were scooped from bulk containers? At Messer Hardware, the best parts of the past are alive, 
well and at the center of our business philosophy. We pride ourselves on offering the old-fashioned hardware store experience you grew up with. That's Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Since 1985, Bossier Apparel has been a leading provider of custom apparel, specializing in corporate wear, custom t-shirts, and spirit wear. As a family-run business with over three decades of experience, they have established a reputation for delivering quality products and exceptional customer service to their clients. Choose Osier Apparel for all your custom needs. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Service is your go-to for all your mulching, brush cutting, trenching, grading, excavator services, and more. Over in 2018, Ryan and his team have made a commitment for customer service and satisfaction. For all your mulching and skid steer needs, give Ryan and his team a call at 678-378-0683. That's 678-378-0683. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Services in Bowden. Are you looking for a car?
Are you looking for a car, a truck, or maybe one of those popular Jeeps? Look no further. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has been serving the West Georgia area for over 25 years, providing one of the largest inventories of quality trucks, cars, and SUVs in the region means you're guaranteed to find a model and trim which best suits your lifestyle. Once you settle on the perfect vehicle, meet with their team of finance experts. They can help secure you the terms and rate which best fits your lifestyle. Remember, there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. That's James O'Neill, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Bremen. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316familymedicine.us 316 Family Medicine a fresh approach to health care are you thinking of buying or selling land in West Georgia? Cal Hardy is one of West Georgia's top agents and would love to help you. Whether you're looking to buy or sell hunting land, farmland, or a rural home, Cal has the experience and expertise to help you. Find him on Facebook or call Cal at 770-296-2163. Three Sixteen Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316 Family Medicine .us. 316 Family Medicine, a fresh approach to health care. Since 2005, Caliber One Construction has provided the highest level of quality, integrity, and satisfaction in every aspect of their company. While empowering their employees to address the ongoing needs of their clients in an ever-changing environment. Through a passionate work ethic and innovative spirit. Founders Jeannie and Chris Elliott have made a commitment to customer service and customer satisfaction. That's why Caliber One Construction goes by the motto Hype, how you prepare every day. Caliber One Construction, proud partner of WGTV and WGTV Sports. Located on 30 Dot Road in Bowden, Arian Farm and Rent Supply opened their doors in April of this year. With backyard gardening essentials as their main focus, there is so much more at Arian Farm and Ranch Supply. They also serve as a full-scale farm supplier, and there's even some fencing options you can choose from. So stop by Arian Farm and Ranch Supply today for some free coffee and all of your farming needs. Inception Energy Solutions specializes in utility construction and maintenance, including distribution, substations, underground and overhead, and control wiring. They have a federal approved and accredited apprenticeship program working in nine states across the southeast. If you're looking for an exciting career like former Blue Devil Brody Doss or Trevor Roberts, give Jerry Pounds or Hillary a call at 404-783-8646. Also, check them out online at InceptionSolutions.com. So join the over 70 employees that have made IES their home. Home. That's Inception Energy Solutions. If you're looking for some of the best lemonade in West Georgia, Steve and his crew at Incredible Pulp Lemonade are serving up sunshine by the cup. With an extensive menu that includes strawberry, cherry lemonade, and watermelon, the menu also boasts a peach mango lemonade with natural peach puree stirred in the mix. If you are looking for your own cup of sunshine, Give them a call or follow their Facebook page at Incredible Pope Lemonade. 
James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram is a family-owned and operated dealership serving West Georgia and East Alabama and supporting high school sports since the doors opened in 1990. Whether it's sales, service, parts, or financing, we're here for all your automotive needs. As the service and satisfaction winner for the past eight years and the number one Ram dealer for the past 16 years, it's guaranteed that there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. If you can't make it out to see us, we'll deliver a unit straight to your doorstep. So give us a call today or visit us online at O'NeillDodge.com, where we make the buying experience easy. Old Fashioned Hardware Store. That's the best way to describe Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Remember when a person greeted you at the door and provided quality information and service? Or when salespeople were knowledgeable about hardware, plumbing, electrical, paint, and agricultural products? Take it further back. How about when lawn and garden seeds were scooped from bulk containers? At Messer Hardware, the best parts of the past are alive, well, and at the center of our business philosophy. We pride ourselves on offering the old-fashioned hardware store experience you grew up with. That's Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Since 1985, we'll go back here. in. It's the Inception Energy Solutions. Carroll County School's high school football game of the week. I'm Tom Eriquazo alongside my man, my partner, the teddy bear. Josh Stitcher's in the house with me. <clears throat> ah, man. It's a long way up down those stairs, Joshua. Oh, it really is. Large fellas don't need to be walking up down it much. Or they well, maybe maybe we maybe need to be we running do. them down. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's definitely pretty tall here in uh, Villa Rica. 30 seconds here before the second half kicked. That's all they're waiting for. You have, what, 20 minutes with the band, then a two-minute uh, kind of deal? Three minutes. Is that what it is? Yeah. Like a three-minute warning before halftime's over. Villarica's going to get the football. They're, they're leading it six to nothing. And I'm telling you right now, this uh, offensive and defensive front for the Wildcats have done a great job it, 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 against a very big, especially the offensive line, but the defensive and offensive front for this Hebron team, and they're very big, Josh. They really are. Um, yeah, great looking on the lines of scrimmage as Hebron Christian. And they know exactly what they're doing out there. They were move, they're able to move Villarica around a little bit and everything. It's just a good, good little matchup if you like an offensive and defensive line ball game, which this one sort of is. So here we go. Their guy's going to kick it all from the far hash. Little pooch kick. 17 for going to take it for Villarica. He's going to get to the edge. Lower his head and drive through a guy. Look at 17, 17 being Miles George. He made himself a candidate for the headhunter on a kickoff, baby. You got to love it, especially the ball carrier. Man, you just got to enjoy seeing that and uh, everything. But, but, man, he lowered the boom. Woo. When you're on the kickoff team and you get an opportunity to return one, you're the, uh, one of the up guys, and you get to run it down the sideline, gain about 20 yards, and then take and lower your head and drive through a guy. So Villarica's got it first and 10 from their own 45-yard line. Great field position to start the second half. Twins right, split to the left. Got a guy in the wing, going to take it, fake it, throw it, and in and out of the hands, just threw it behind him. Bell. If he'd have hit him out in front and stride, he might have got a seam there and could have took it to the house. Yeah, Bell, I think he rushed his throw there just a little bit and threw it right behind his, his receiver. Yeah, Barnes is just like, oh, man, I had it. I had six, baby. Mm -hmm. I believe, you know, if he'd have hit him, like I said, had he had gotten through that one seam there in the second level, I believe he could have took it on. Second down and 10 from their own 45 for the Wildcats. Twins right, split left. Got a guy in the wing, going to fake it. Now Bell's just going to run it off the edge. He's got a blocker down here as Wallace, and he's going to run inside their 40 down around the 35-yard line, and that's a gain of 20. And a James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram first down for the Wildcats. And you see right there just what Zay Bell brings to this Villarica offense. He can stay back in the pocket. He's got a really good arm, but when he decides to tuck it and run, he can scoot. Yeah, and he's the biggest guy in the huddle. Look at him in the huddle. He is the tallest cat in the huddle. So oh, he's head and shoulder above everybody else. So here we go on the near hash. Twins left split to the right. Single set going to bring a man in motion, going to take turn. Now there's a flag. I believe we had illegal motion again. Absolutely. 
It's going to back them up five to the 40. So you can tell it's early in the season when you see a lot of the yellow hankies on the field. Yeah, Villarica, this is their first shot at uh, at live action, so they've been – They've got some things and some kinks that they needed to work on, but it's nothing more than just a first game, first game jitters, kind of like we saw last week, Bowden in Manchester. Right. So back them up five, first and 15 from the Hebron 40. Here on the near hash going left to right. Six to nothing, Villarica leads it. Trips left, split right, single set is Reed. Bell's your quarterback. They're in a three-man front. They've got a backer walked up, walking another guy up now. Little speed option look, and they defended it well. Now there's a fumble, and I believe Hebron's going to get on under Hebron, and they incomplete pass. Oh, so he threw the ball, and they called it incomplete. Yeah, a little shovel, a little Ooh. shovel pass. It was close. Yeah. On the far side from us, it's going to be second and 15, and Villaruk is lucky to have the football. Absolutely. They called it incomplete, 11.35 to play here in the third quarter, six to nothing, Villarica. Second and 15 for the Wildcats from the Lions, Bell. 40-yard line. Is it, it's Zay Bell, right? Zay Bell. He is a big dude. Four split out to the left, one to the right, empty backfield. Bell's in a gun, five wide to UNI. Here on the near hash, second down and 15. Now we got whistles and what's going on? Flag on the play. I didn't see the flag. Delay of game on the Wildcats. So delay a game. Back up five yards. Pretty quick to me. Second and twenty. Well, for the Wildcats. Yeah, you just get that twenty-five seconds after. Yeah. They discuss and do all that. That's and it what, all depends on when they whistle it in, right? Absolutely. So here we go. Here on the near hash. Now they're going to bring Reed back in the backfield. Trips left, split right. Low snap, Bell's going to drop, he's going to throw, he's got a man, he caught it. I don't know who it was, but he's close to the first down, 12. and that looks like 12. Devin Barnes, Barnes is going to catch it, and that's going to be a gain of 13. It's going to be third down and two now from down around their 27-yard line. Great pitch and catch from Bell to Barnes. Absolutely, just a beautiful pass there. He had a, Bell had a good good amount of time to sit back and kind of read and find his open receiver. This offensive line's done a pretty good job tonight thus far. They have. Three wide, two to the left, one to the right. Single sets Reed. Got a guy in the wing. Bell's going to look to the side for the change of the play. 10-51, 50, 49. Clock running, third quarter. Villarica leads it six to nothing. Snap, going to hand it to Reed, and he's going to get tripped up around the 35, but that's going to be enough. For James O'Neill, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. First down for the Wildcats. First and 10 from the Hebron, 25. Villarica's in business. They in business. They came out this, took the kick, took the opening kickoff. And had a couple of hiccups there with a, with a couple of penalties, but so far they've been doing a pretty good job of moving the ball down the field. The caliber one construction drive to the end zone starts first and 10 from the 25 of Hebron. Twins left, split right for the Wildcats. Going to bring a man in motion. Going to hand it back to Reed. He's going to bounce out, miss a tackle, lower his head, and he's going to get back to the line of scrimmage, maybe gained a half a yard, but he was fixing to lose about two or three. Breaks a couple tackles. Jaden Terry is going to come in for for Reed. And Reed does a good job with the size that he is. Man, he doesn't take a hit and go down. He hits and bounces off of you and gets all he can. A little shaken up after that one. They, they got to him pretty good. Back to the line of scrimmage. Second down and 10. Clock running 9-37-36. Third quarter. Far hash going left to right for the Wildcats. Got a guy in the wing, twins right, split left, single set is five, Terry. Got to fake it, now throw a little hitch, and he threw it too high, and it almost was picked. Absolutely. Barnes Just went a little too high with it. Yeah. He kind of tipped it up. And we're, Villarica is pretty lucky that Hebron didn't come down with the ball right there. Coverage on the play again by number seven, Drew Third down and 10 from the 25 for the Wildcats. 
Clock stops with the incomplete pass. 9.24 to play here in the third quarter. Wesley Wallace, 23, is going to come in, split out to the left. We have Damon Smith split to the right and along with Devin Barnes. Going to hand it, no, going to throw it, and this False. time he had it. False start. We had a lineman over Slide there the that got started just a hair before the ball was snapped. So that will back them up five. You got to feel like Villarica needs about 10 yards here at least to try to get a decent field goal right. attempt, right? Yeah. From the Ebron Christian 30-yard line. Incomplete pass or a penalty stops the clock, 9.23 to play. Our guys are doing a great job bringing it home. They are. Far hash, twins to the left, split right. They're dialing up pressure, and here it comes. Bell's going to roll. He's going to have to elude a lot of pressure, and now he's going to get hit, and he's going to get sacked, and he's going to lose a bunch. It's going to be fourth down, and Villarica's probably going to have to punt it away. Now, see, that's where he's got to learn to try to throw it deep and away. He's out of the tackle box. Just throw it away right there. Yeah, as deep as you can. Of course, he's rolling to his right and can't really – Throw it too deep like that, but that's something he'll learn as the season. That's something he'll he'll grow in as the season goes along. So it's fourth down in a bunch. All right, so Villarica don't have a kicker. Everybody's lined up, but they, ha they don't have a kicker. Now it's a timeout. Sir, for a timeout. It's an opportunity for us to thank our sponsors. We can do that, can't we, Josh? Absolutely. Is that okay? So what we got here is uh, in Inception Energy Solutions, James O'Neill, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram, 316 Healthcare, Cal Hardy, and Arrowhead, Caliber One Construction, Arian Farms, Osier Apparel, Messer Hardware, Whitley Skid Steer, and Incredible Pump. An opportunity, like I said, for us to say thank you to our sponsors because that, without them, we can't do any of this. Absolutely. At the half, we got a score in Harrelson County. Bremen seven, Harrelson County zero. <clears throat> Let's see what else I can find. Carrollton 35, South Paulding 0 is a halftime score, and Central is 14, Bowden 6 at the half. That's a good one up there, ain't it? Absolutely. Number 91. So here we go. Melendez, the kicker, is going to punt it away. They got two back deep. KJ Thomas back deep to return for Hebron Christian. Good snap. Wobbly end over end kick. It's going to hit, and now it's going to take a villa. Ooh, if he'd have let that bounce a little more, it might have put him inside the five. I think what he was thinking is it was awfully close to hitting uh, somebody. The Hebron, one of the guys from Hebron Christian, so he maybe just took a chance to see if fate would come his way. 827 to go in the third quarter. And unfortunately, it did not. But it backs them up to their own 10, pins them deep. 90 yards to go for pay dirt. For Hebron, 8.27 to play, third quarter, six to nothing, Villarica. Ball here on the near hash, twins left, one split way to the right. There's a whistle, now a handoff. 17's gonna get loose in our secondary and up to the 25 and a first down. I thought I heard a whistle. You did, I think they were just, blow, just now blowing. Blowing it in. Yeah. Terry again on the tackle. Twins right, split left, guy in the wing. 
Stallworth's going to go, and he's going to throw, and it's high, and it's almost picked. Caleb Aker, who had that huge hit in the first quarter, almost picked it off. Yeah. If he would have, he'd have walked in the end He would backwards. have. He would have. He got up as high as he could go, and it was just about two inches. Too much. Too much. But he read that play perfect. Second down and 10 from their own 25 here on the near hash going right to left. Got a guy in a slot, going to bring him in motion, going to take turn to hand it to 17. He's going to get into secondary. That's going to be a foot race. He's still on his feet. He's at the 30, going to dive, nothing. Terry's going to save the touchdown down around the nine. Good run there out of, out of Caldwell for Heber and Christian. And man, he got in a little open space, and he wasn't afraid to hit him with that stiff arm and break free. And first and 10 or first and goal for Heber and Christian. Now Heber and Christian set up first and goal from the nine-yard line of Villarica. So their best opportunity to score thus far in this one. Here on the near hash, clock, shot, I mean shot clock. Game clock's running, so is the game uh, time. 12 still on his feet, and he's driving. They're going to wrestle him down around the one, give him the two. So gain a seven, second down and goal from the two for game Hebron. Seven, takes it down to the Villarica two-yard line. They're going to go no huddle, snap, going to hand it. 12 going to bounce off a guy, stood up at the goal line, and he's not going to get in. He's going to be just shy, and it's going to be third and goal now. All he had to do looked like all he had to do was just kind of bounce it out, fall in the end zone, but he got stood up. Great job there by Villarica front seven. Third down and go, big defensive play right here for the Wildcats. Leading it six to nothing, 637, 36, clock running, third quarter. Quarterback's going to keep it. He's going to get hit, and he's going to be short. He's short. He's a football short. Incredible stand there again by Villarica's front seven on defense. He's a half a football short. Villarica fans, get on your feet at home. Start screaming for this Wildcat defense. Fourth and goal from inside the one. Quarterback's going to hand it, keep it, drive. They stopped him. The Villarica defense held. They stop him. He loses a yard, baby. Boom. What a fantastic stand by Villarica's defense right there. You can't tell me three plays from the goal line and Villa and Hebron Christian couldn't get in on that Villarica front seven. Talk about a bow your back moment and really make a statement right there. Villarica just showed Hebron Christian how to play a little goal line defense. Three plays from inside the one, and that Villarica defense holds. So they got it first and ten. We do. Villarica from their own two. 5.52 to play in the third quarter, six to nothing. Wildcats and a huge defensive stand. So here we go from the near hash going left to right. Little Rook is going to spread it out. Twins right, split to the left. Bell's in a gun. Now he's just going to get behind one of his running backs, and he's going to try to gain a yard or two, and he may have gotten back to the line. They're going to give him almost the three, I think. Yeah. Gain of a good yard. Second down and nine. From around the three. Now, they started this thing from the two, right? Correct. And they got it at the three, so it's second nine. That's right. For the Wildcats, letting the clock continue to run. 5 17, 16, third quarter here on the near hash. Receivers to either side. Double wing in the backfield, single set with Bell and a gun. Now they're going to flop their end from right to left, all the Wildcats. There's a whistle before. I think Villarica got a timeout before the clock, play clock ran out. They did. Timeout on the field. We'll take it with them. The Inception Energy Solutions, Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week. Villarica 6, 
Hebron nothing right here on the WGTV network. Since 1985, Osier Apparel has been a leading provider of custom apparel, specializing in corporate wear, custom t-shirts, and spirit wear. As a family-run business with over three decades of experience, they have established a reputation for delivering quality products and exceptional customer service to their clients. Choose Osier Apparel for all your custom needs. Whitley's Forestry Mulching is... And we head back. It's on us, and I'm standing up. Hi. Hey. Hey Everybody. Y'all. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Green couple of scores. Greenville six, Mount Zion five in the third quarter. Six to five. Yeah, baseball score. No baseball score. And huh? Temple's up on Christian Heritage seven nothing in the second quarter. Bremen up seven to nothing still. Bremen's still up seven to nothing at halftime over Harrison County. So here we go. Second down and nine from their own three for the Wildcats after a huge, huge defensive stand. Three straight plays. Or two straight plays inside the one. Well, three. Three, yeah. Well, the first one was down to the two. The set, the yeah. second down run went in. So, yeah, two in a row from inside the one, three from the two. Right? Correct. Something like. Going to flop their in from left to right, all the Wildcats. Going to hand it off. Oh, man. Yeah, I know. Reed just slipping a tackle away from taking it 97 yards to the house, and he's going to run it up where they're putting it down at the eight. So gain of five. Third down and four. Third and four. From the eight. Three wide, two to the right, one to the left. Here on the near hash for the Wildcats. Bell is your quarterback. Going to fake it. Now he's going to roll. He's going to throw. Oh, and 12. He just just a little hot. He just got to toss that one in there, and he laid it a little hot. Yeah, Barnes was running wide open, and if he'd have put just a little, just a little air, a little help underneath that ball, Barnes was probably still running. It's going to be fourth down from their own eight for the Wildcats, and Wallace is going to have to kick it out of his own end zone. But considering that it was uh, third and goal from about the one-foot line and fourth and goal from the one-foot line and second and goal from the two, the Villarica defense stands strong. 4 7 6 to play here in the third quarter. Clock runs. Clock runs, but the referees are getting together and talking about it. And the clock's still running. Now they, they stop it. <laughs> still running. Yeah, they ain't got the memo in, in the press box, I don't believe. So 351 to play here in the third quarter. Game clock is being reset to four minutes twelve seconds. Yeah. That's four minutes, 12 seconds remaining in the third quarter. 4-12 to play. And they add a little time on the clock. And now there's a flag. I see a flag down there, but I'm not sure what they threw it for. So what are they calling? Huh. Is it a sideline warning? I guess it is. Now, is this a coach that's walking on the field? Across the field? Now, there's a police officer as well. Reckon what's going on? I don't know. So, they're going to wave the flag off, but it looks like, is that A.D. Rick Sauls walking across the field and then a deputy sheriff walking what it looks like. Shortly behind. So what are we doing? Talking to a gentleman on the track over on the far side, red shirt, but I don't know why or what or anything. 
A little too close, I guess, to the field and probably making a little yeah yeah noise, right? When you probably think? so. So they're going to escort him on out, right? Don't know what he did. Wallace is in his own end zone, so maybe we can get a kick now. 4-12 to play here in the third quarter. Low, wobbly line drive is going to take, and it's going to hit. Their guy's going to grab it. Good Lord, dangerous play. And he's going to get wrapped up around the 43-yard line for progress. But that was a dangerous, dangerous play for Hebron. Number 23. Yeah. Wesley Wallace on the tackle. A little too close for comfort. Williams' little brother yeah, Wesley makes the tackle. And that's another Verlin best Wildcats grandson, 43. right? Absolutely. So they got great field position, but it, it's not so much after considering that they were on the one foot line just a few minutes ago. Yeah. So here we go. They got it first and 10 at the Villarica 42. Is that where they got it or 43? 43. 43. 43. Going to hand it to 23 on the jet to the far side. He's going to get in the secondary of Villarica 17. is going to bring him down. Jarvis Miles George. Tackle by number 17, Miles George. Gain of about eight. Second and two. Second down and two for Hebron. For Hebron Christian from the Villarica 35. Clock running. Villarica leads it six to nothing. Quarterback's going to take turn, going to hand it to the 17 again. He's going to get hit, spin off one another in the secondary, down to the 21 and a first down. 17's a good-looking football player. Yes, he is. He knows how to run the ball. He knows how to get slippery when he needs to. And Good enough for Hebron Christian first down. Picked up another first down for Hebron. They're going to go quick. Going to hand it to him again. He's going to try to bounce it outside, and he's going to get hit. Still going to gain about three or four. 17, Devin Caldwell. So Caldwell. On the right side. Tackled by number 38. Doing his best to get his money's worth. Mm-hmm. So far hash for them, no huddle again. Going to bring a man in motion, going to take turn, going to hand it to Caldwell again. He's going to drive down inside the 17, down around the 16. It's going to be third down now for the Lions of Hebron. Sumo Hare, number 55, Jonathan Dinkins. Jonathan Dinkins and Hare. Villarica's got a man down. It's going to be another 316 urgent care injury timeout. Injury timeout. Sumo Hare. <clears throat> timeout on the field, we'll take it with them. Inter Inception Energy Solutions, Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week right here on WGTV. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Service is your go-to for all your mulching, brush cutting, trenching, grading, excavator services, and more. Over to 2018, Ryan and his team have made a commitment for customer service and satisfaction. For all your mulching and skid steer needs, give Ryan and his team a call at 678-378-0683. That's 678-378-0683. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Services, inbound. Are you looking for In the third quarter, third down and about long three, call it four. For Hebron, down at the Villarica 16-yard line. Villarica leads it six to nothing. It's been a very good defensive game thus far. A lot of hitting. It really has. not a lot of scoring. Not a lot of scoring. A good bit of defense. Bill Rica Football would like to once again recognize our platinum level sponsors, Shucker's Oyster House. And a few first of the season the mistakes. And you're going to have it. Oh, absolutely. Camp Family Dentistry, Advantage Office Solutions, and Avos Tanning. Oh, RB, boy, he's going to take care of the officials, ain't he, baby? I, I was going to say, RB is still taking care of the stripes. Taking care 
of business. TCB, TCB baby. That's right. Look at him running around down there. I like a war I do too. So here we go. Third down and four. Big defensive play here. Villarica faithful start making some noise here on this third down and four. They're all bunched up. Are the Lions going to take, going to hand it to Caldwell. He's just going to follow by behind his blockers, and he's going to drive inside the 10 down around the nine, and that's a Hebron first down. Yeah, and I mean, you stick with with what's working, and right now Devin Caldwell is what's working, is what's working for Hebron Christian. Now they go quick, hand the ball again to 17, and he fights inside the five. And he's going to be second and goal, or third and goal now. No. Second. Second goal, that's right. From the five. From the five. Got another urgent care, 316 urgent care injury timeout. Got to get one off the field. He's up and, and coming off the field is Delontez Daniel under his own will. Second and goal for Hebron Christian. So second go from the five, another big, huge defensive stand what Villarica needs right here. Going to hand it to Caldwell. He's going to lower his head and drive. He's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage. He may have gained a yard to the four. Oh, they're going to give him all the way down yeah. close to the two. I didn't see that. I didn't like either. stacked him up. They're going to go no huddle. Third goal from inside the three to the two. There's a flag today. Villarica had, Villarica had too many on the field. One forty-seven to play. They're going to move the ball half the distance. So what is that? To the one and a half. One and a half yard line or one. They're going to lay it down about the one and a half inside inside the two. Snap, Caldwell, edge, touchdown, Hebron this time. So Caldwell is going to go in from calling the yard out. They tied up six to six. PAT awaiting. Yep, and Caldwell was going to do his best on that drive every time he touched the ball, and the last four or five plays was all Caldwell. So are they going for two? Oh, okay. Had me confused there. A little bum fuzzled. I was like, why are they going for two? They got a pretty good kick. Absolutely. Number 28, now is Cole on to attempt the PAT. Snap, down, kick, up, no good. The kicker stepped too soon. Mm -hmm. So it's no good. 142 to play in the third quarter. We're all knotted up. Hebron six, Villarica six. Keep it right here, Josh. You want to? Let's do it. Is that okay with you? Absolutely. Let's take our sponsors. Yes. We could do that, couldn't we? Yes, we can. Just got to pull them up right here because I don't like forgetting any of them. Of course, Inception Energy Solutions, 316 Healthcare, James O'Neill Chrysler, Dodge Jeep and Ram, Cal Hardy, and Arrowhead, your land specialist, Caliber One Construction, Arian Farm, Osier Apparel, Messer Hardware, Whitley Skid Steer, and the incredible, incredible pole. Got to see old Steve yesterday at the softball game over at Central. He made some good lemonade. Man, he made me, and listen to me now, he made me a watermelon lemonade, Josh, Ooh. and I'm talking about off the chain. Watermelon so refreshing. Lemonade. It was 90 degrees yesterday out there when we were there at 530 getting ready for the first oh, yeah. pitch. And old Stevie brought us that uh, lemonade. Woo. It come right on time, brother. I can't wait till we finally catch up to a game that he's at try a little bit. Let's see, we got 27 back deep for them. And what's uh, for Villarica? That's Judah Walker. Judah. And then I, I can't tell the number over here on this left side. He neither is turned. 
Their guy's going to tee it up on the far hash 40 going right to left. Six to six, your score. Good old-fashioned defensive battle. A lot of hitting, just not a lot of scoring. But it's been a fun football game to watch. Yes. Any football is fun to watch. Oh, absolutely. Little pooch kick. Fair call at the 30. Number one, Carson Nally receives the kick. Probably not a bad decision there to fair catch it over there pinned on the sidelines. He had a couple of Hebron lines bearing down on him. So here we go. All knotted up at six. Far hash at the 31. That's where Villarico put it in play at their own 31. Three wide, two to the right, one to the left. Single set. That's Reed. Bell's your quarterback. They're showing a three-man front with a backer walked up. Going to hand it to Reed. He's going to drive, maybe get a yard. Maybe. They're going to give him a yard to the 32. Yeah. They'll give him maybe two to the 33. No, 31. 32. Number seven, Drew Fowler. It's a yard. <laughs> it's one yard. Now, I keep saying it like people can't see it. <laughs> they can see it. We're going to call it the 31. Ah, 31 and a half. Here we go. Let's half a it. yard on the carry. Half a yard. Or a foot. <laughs> so here we go on the far hash going left to right. Twins right, split to the left, got two in the backfield. And Bell is in a gun. Going to hand it to 12. And they play good defense, and he's still on his feet. Look at him. He takes a major hit, and then he bounces off, stays on his feet, runs it up to the 35, gains 36-yard line, and he gains four and a half. Just a fantastic run there by Devin Barnes. And, I mean, he just, I don't know, Hebron played, played that ball defensively as good as you want well, to. Well, three guys hit him in the backfield. He just bounced off. Well, he just bounced off, wouldn't go down, kept those legs moving and fought. And so third backed, down and six. They backed it up to the 35, so third and six. You're on the near hash. A little confusion on where they go and line up. Going to fake it. Now Bell is going to roll. This time he dumps it off to 12. 12's got blockers. He's across midfield inside their 40, down inside the 35. 12 being Barnes. Bell to Barnes. And this time he didn't throw it too hard, Josh. He laid it right in there perfect. That's right. He got it to him softly. And I'm going to tell you what, Carson Nally had as good of a downfield block as you will see out of a wide receiver. So Villarica's got a James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram first down at the Hebron 35-yard line. And that's going to be do it for the third quarter. We played three. We go to the fourth and final frame, six to six. And Villarica's on a drive. It's Inception Energy Solutions, Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week on WGTV. Are you looking for a car, a truck, or maybe one of those popular Jeeps? Look no further. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has been serving the West Georgia area for over 25 years, providing one of the largest inventories of quality trucks, cars, and SUVs in the region means you're guaranteed to find a model and trim which best suits your lifestyle. Once you settle on the perfect vehicle, meet with their team of finance experts. They can help secure you the terms and rate which best fits your lifestyle. Remember, there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. That's James O'Neill, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Bremen. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatric sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316 We flop into the field and we're going to hand it to 
Reed, now Hebron saying that they got the football, but they don't. No gain. It's going to be second 10 from their uh, 35, the Hebron 35 for the Wildcats. Clock running. 11-40, fourth quarter, 6-6. Six six. Villaruk is on a drive. Second 10 from the Hebron 35-yard line. Closer to, near, to this near hash, going right to left. Split left, twins to the right. Single set, got a guy in the wing. Hard count. Now Bell is going to look at the sidelines. Now they're going to change the play. Going to hand it to Reed, and he's going to get tackled for about a four-yard loss. They're going to say three to the 38. Two, that ain't working. That's not working. I tell you what, Hebron's defensive line have done a fantastic job of getting off their blocks quickly. They're good. They are good. So third and 13 from the Hebron 38 for the Wildcats. Now here comes Jaden Terry in. He's going to go check in at running back. Here on the near hash, twins left, twins right. That's four wide to you and I. Ball hits the ground. Bell's going to pick it up. Still on the ground. Now he's got to fall on it. It's 41. That's going to be a sack. And Villaruk is going to have it four down in a bunch from there, 41. Had he been able to pick that ball up when he dropped it the first time, he was going to have a little bit of room to run. But he couldn't grab, a, couldn't grab a hold of the ball good and just had to make sure he covered it up and go down there. You got to feel like Villarig is going to kick it. They are. 91 Melendez is going to come in. I noticed that he, he kind of comes in and kicks on the short distance. Right. On the punt. Back to return, number zero, Gary Kemp. Number 23, Jarvis Marthurin. Oh, my goodness. The snap goes through Villarica's hands. They kick it. And it's going to bounce. Their guys are going to touch it. It's a pileup. I think Villarica may have the football. It's a live ball when it touched one of the lines. Villarica's got it. Wow. Yes. So what looked like disaster is turned into a first down for the Wildcats. Just like they drew it up. Wow. So they're going to get a new set of downs or the Wildcats. Absolutely. First and 10 from the Hebron 43. What was almost a disaster play has turned into a great play for the Wildcats first and 10. That's right, hit off a of Hebron Christian Lion and Villarica was right there to pounce on the ball and alertly knew Melendez. exactly what they needed to do. What about Melendez at least picking it up and kicking it? Most kids are gonna yeah. fall on it right there. Absolutely. Just, which is what a, you know, really what you're supposed to do. <laughs> yeah. But he got it away and it worked out in Villarica's favor. It comes off a of Hebron Christian kid and then it falls and Villarica's got it now first and 10 from their 43 yard line. Six to six your score, 921 to play in this ball game. Four wide single set. That's uh, Terry. Bell's going to drop. He's going to look. He's going to throw down the left side. Pass by he throws a pretty ball. He does. I mean, the ball is pretty. And he's got a cannon, so he has. sometimes he has to learn to take it a little bit off, and I think sometimes that could be hard for him. Yeah, I think you're right, and that's something that he'll get a little more used to as the season goes on as he has to continue to, uh, to do that and make those throws. So second down and 10 from the Hebron 43. Ball in the middle of the field. 9-15 to play in the ball game. 6-6 six to six your score. So Bell and Terry. Terry's your single set. Bell's the quarterback in the gun. Got a guy on the wing. Two to the left, one to the right. He's going to fake it. Bell's going to roll. Now he's going to look. He's going to throw. There got almost picked it. Now he gets a little air under that one and 12 dances in the end zone. And that's another one of those things that he's going to learn to do. as the season goes on. He's going to learn exactly how to do that. So third and 10 now. Nine oh eight to play. Fox stops with the incomplete pass. Six to six, your score. Now 
Ball in the middle of the field. Trips right, split left. Single set is Terry. Bell's going to drop, step up. Now he's going to have to run with it. He's going to get hit. Now they're all over him. Now he pitches it to a lineman. Big 72. There's a flag, but it, he lateraled it backwards to his big lineman, 72. <laughs> he was rumbling with it. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Obviously, that's what they're going to call the flag on, but. But give 72 credit, baby. He caught it and took off upfield. He caught it and took off like he'd been doing that the whole time. Noah Grace, big 72. He's played a great game on the offensive line as well. Absolutely. Fourth quarter, we got to be looking at a player of the game, a headhunter, a hog. Mm -hmm. It's going to be tough tonight. It is. So that's going to back them up. Good Lord, it's a 25-yard field. I mean, penalty. And a loss of down. I'm pretty sure that they just marked off 20. Brings up a fourth and forever for the Wildcats. Number 10, Will Wallace on the punt. Fourth and a bunch. Loss of down and everything, right? That's right. What is it? Illegal touching, right? Yep. <laughs> Snap to Wallace. Good end over end kick. It's going to hit. Now it's going to take a good Villarica roll. And leave it alone, guys, till it drops down around the 20, just inside of it. Great job. So Heber to put it in play first and 10 from their own 20. 8.44 to play in this one. Six to six, your score. Great punt by Will Wallace. First and 10 for the Heber on Christian Wallace has had a good game himself. He really has. William, that is. I don't think he's come off the field yet. His brother, Wesley. Plays as well. William, I believe, is a junior, and I believe Wesley is a sophomore. Sounds about right. So Hebron's got it first and ten. Going to run that jet to 23 to this side. Villarica strings it out, plays it pretty well, and good Lord, somebody on the sideline just got hammered. Ooh, we got to pay attention when you're standing on the sideline and street clothes or you'll get taken out. But he popped back up. He did. And now I don't think he's sure if he knows where he is or not. Yeah, he's, uh, he jumped right back up because you know how that is. Absolutely. You know he got embarrassed right there when it happened, but he jumped right back up, but uh, they're trying to see if he's all right. Yeah. And we hope he is. Here on the near hash, gain of two. At the 22, second down and eight. Going to bring 23 in motion again. Going to hand it to 17. He just gets tripped up, but he's going to fall forward over the 30 to 32, and that's going to be a first down for Heber. Good enough for Hebron Christian, first down. I think if I was Hebron Christian, I would just keep running 17. I would. To the 32, they give him. First down. Clock running, 8, 15, 14. Going to take turn, going to hand it to him again. He's still fighting for yards up to the 36. Going to gain four more, and that was not a great run, but he still gained four yards. Yeah, absolutely. So they got it. Eight minutes on the clock, under eight minutes. Clock running. Six to six, second down and seven. Going to hand it to 17 again, and he just, it, that was a very weird looking play. It was almost like a penalty was called, and everybody stopped. And he just and did he a little just, stutter yeah, step and, and, and went. Third down and a long four, almost five. For Hebron, big third down here. As it's starting to get late here in the fourth quarter, six to six, your score. Cameras start shaking when they start stomping on those bleachers, doesn't it? Absolutely. Going to hand it to 17. He's going to try to bounce outside, and he's going to get hit, and he's going to drive. Look at him drive. Good Lord, he is, he is a man among men right there. He really is. 
Picked up plenty for the first down. He's a heck of a ball player. Third down along four, almost five. You hand it off up the gut and he gains six. So it's the 44-yard line, first and 10. Hebron under seven minutes, 6.52-51, clock running, 6-6 six to six your score. Here on the near hash, going to split 23 to the right, or put him in a slot, if you will, twins to the left. Going to hand it to 23 on the jet, far side. He's going to get in the Villarica secondary, and then he's going to be wrestled down after a gain of 10 all the way down to the Villarica 46. They're going to say 45, first down. Tackle by number 18, Omar Holland. 46 now. Good enough well, I thought it was, but this guy marked it in 45. Right. Far hash, twins right, split left, single set. Stallworth, your quarterback. They're going to change the play. First and 10 from the Villarica 46. Going to hand it to 17. Caldwell, and he's going to drive down to the 41, gain of five. Gain of four, tackle by number five, Jaden Terry. I'm telling you, if I was calling plays for Hebron, that's exactly what I'd just keep doing. Second and six from the Wildcat 41. Far hash. Yeah, I'd pound 17 until he couldn't run it no more. And now they're going to give it to 12, and he's going to bounce outside, and he's got a burst of speed, and he's going to drive inside the Villa Rica 30. That's another first down for Hebron. 5.30, clock stop with a chain movement. So first down, Hebron, from the Villa Rica 28-yard line. Now they're just going to go no huddle. Villa Rica called a timeout. That's... Wildcats Probably their last the one, it looks out. like it is. Third time out of the half for Villarica. Yep. Probably not a bad timeout to call there. Hebron's been jumping up and going pretty quick off the line, you know, off the ball. Be an opportunity for Coach Barron and company to kind of get a uh, breather. Get a breather. You got any scores over there? Let's High see. Let it update here. Central 27, Bowden 14 in the fourth quarter. Temple's up 14 to seven in the third quarter over Christian Heritage. Big game for them. It is. Mount Zion and Greenville still six to five in the third. Wow, what a score. Carrollton 42, South Paulding zero in the fourth. So here we go, first and 10 from the 28 of Villarica. 524 to play in this one, six to six, your score. And still seven nothing, Bremen over Harrison County in the third. The defensive battle, 12's gonna try to get outside and he's still on his feet, drives inside the 25 to the 24, gain of four. Tackle by number zero, Jay Carter. Three yards on the play, second and seven. At the Wildcat, 25. Hebron's going as quickly as they can. Second down and seven from the 25. Gonna hand it to Caldwell. Hand off to number 17, Devin Caldwell. Gonna drive it down to the 23 yard line. Gain of two, third down and five. Big third down play here. Jonathan Dinkins. You're at home, start screaming for this Villarica defense. We need to stop. 4.38, 37, clock running six to six. Hebron's on a drive. Started at their own 20, gonna hand it to Caldwell, and he's gonna bounce outside. Now he's gonna get loose, still on his feet, gonna have to get driven out of bounds down around the 10. Another first down, and Caldwell just seems like he's getting stronger as this game goes on. Look at those big hog mollies, 68, 65, 72, 64, 53. Yeah. And he's your size, Josh. Absolutely. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. Another 316 urgent care injury timeout. Got a wildcat on the ground. Timeout on the field. We'll take it with them. Inception Energy Solutions. Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week right here on WGTV. 
316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316familymedicine.us 316 Family Medicine a fresh approach to health care Are you thinking of buying or selling land in West Georgia? To play in the ball game 6-6 six six, first and 10 from the Villarica 11 for Hebron they're going to bunch up going to hand it to Caldwell and he's just going to drive inside the 10 still on his feet pushing the pile to the 5 Number 17, We're going to give him the 6 so gain a 5 it's going to be second down and five from the Villarica six. Gain of four. Cowell's going to come off the field and get a well-deserved breather for Hebron Christian. The problem for Villarica is no timeouts now. Yeah. Now there's a whistle. What do they got? Something on the far side. Illegal substitution against Villarica. So that's going to be a five-yard penalty. That should take them down to the one and make it first and go. Or will they do the half the distance? No, it's five yards to the one. Down to the two. First and goal. That's two. Wait a minute. The first down was at the one. Now they're saying it's first and go from the two. 12 is going to get to the outside and score touchdown. It ain't going to matter, is it? No. 12 to 6 with 3.51 to play. The PAT awaiting. So the PAT is awaiting. It's a big PAT. Good snap, down, kick up, and there's a flag. Is there a flag? Nope. Extra points, good. 3.51 to play in the ball game, and Heber and Christian takes the lead 13 to 6. Heber and Christian 13. What you got over there, Josh? Getting scores before we uh, get ready to kick off? Definitely not the 70 points that Hebron Christian scored like they scored last week. Right. I've got Sprayberry leading Paulding County 16 to 7. North Paulding's leading East Paulding 17 to 14. Carrollton over South Paulding 42 to nothing in the fourth quarter. Let's see wow. what else I can find. Carrollton's taking their loss last week out. Carson they really are. The, uh, Alexander, Alexander's up over Lithia Springs, 6 nothing, And New Manchester Banneker, 0-0 zero to zero in the third. Callaway's up on Cedartown, 13-10 to 10 in the third quarter. Wow. Yeah. Rockmart leads Cass, 9 nothing. Man. That's, That's surprising. I thought Rockmart would win big. Yeah. Can you see the number on the far side in the back? It looks like 12 Barnes is over here. I can't tell. He got his hands up around looks his like jersey. 21. Caleb that's Steve, Stevens. Neal. That's that's what we'll go with. Probably ain't right, but we'll go with it anyway. Well, if he runs it back, he's going to get the credit. Yeah. Little pooch kick. Going to be fair caught around the 34 yard line. So. Villarica put it in play in good field position, first and 10 from their own 34. Where take over first and 10. 3.51 to play in this ball game, 13 to 6. Villarica trailing now after leading most of the game, 6 to nothing. Now they're trailing.
Far hash, twins uh, left, split right, two in the backfield. Going to hand it to one of them. That is 21. He's going to get to the edge. Look at the speed of this cat. Tiptoes down the sideline. Going to get across the 45. They say he stepped out into 46, and that's the James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge deep in round. First down. 21 is Caleb Stevens Neal, and good Lord, he's not big, but he's got a lot of burst. He does have a lot of burst. So clock stops with the out of bounds, 343 to play in the ball game, 13 to six Hebron. Here on the near hash, going right to left, twins right, split to the left, single set for the guy in the wing. Bell is your quarterback in a gun. Reed's gonna step over to the right, gonna hand it to him. Nope, Bell's gonna throw it. In traffic, he tried to throw it to 12. Barnes, and it's incomplete. Tried a little side arm, side arm Patrick Mahomes pass like we saw out of McGrin last week from Bowden. That was a great play. It really was. But he just put a little too much zip on it and kind of threw it into traffic. So here we go, second 10 from the 46. Clock stop with the incomplete pass. Trips right. Split left, got a guy in the wing, empty backfield. Bell is in a gun. Going to bring Reed back to the backfield. They're showing blitz off the edge, going to fake it. Now he's going to roll to his right, and he's going to step up, and he's going to throw it down the field. And Their guy picked it. They picked it down at the 18. Great play by zero for them. It really was a great, great play. So Hebron's got the football again. Three minutes and 59 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. Bremen's up 10-0 over Harrelson County. That defense is looking to pitch two shutouts against two of their big rivalries, and they get Bowden next week. Absolutely. At Bowden. That'll be one to watch. Where are we at next week? We're Jordan at Mount Zion. Yep, right? we'll be at. See the Eagles. Donald L. Mixon Stadium over with our friends at Mount Zion. Looking forward to being over there next Friday night. Gonna tailgate with them there. A yeah. Bit. Caldwell gets stood up at the line. He's gonna gain maybe a yard to the 20. Clock running, 319, 18, 17. No timeouts for Villarica. They got to stop them right here. Trailing 13 to 6. About two first downs to do it, won't it? That's right. Make some noise and support this defense, folks. We need the ball back. So here they go. Far hash, twins right, split left. They're not getting in any hurry. They want as much clock to run as it can. Nine on the play clock, eight, seven. Going to bring 23 in motion, and now is there a flag? Yep. False start called against Hebron Christian. False start on the Lions. So that'll stop the clock. It's going to back them up. It's going to be second down and 14 from down around the 16-yard line. 247 to play in the ball game. 13 to 6, Hebron's leading over these Wildcats of Villarica. Defense has played great tonight, but Hebron's just kind of loaded up, pounded them here in the third and fourth quarter with Caldwell. Second down and 14, clock running, going to hand it to Caldwell. He's going to slip a tackle and another, still on his feet, driving to the 25, going to be third down. He's going to gain about nine, does Caldwell, to the 35 or 25. Going to be third down and four. Big defensive stand here. Villarica's got to hold them. Bot running, 215, 214, 13 to six. Hebron. Fourteen, 13, 12 on the play clock. 159, 58 on the game clock. Let it all run all the way down. Call a timeout to Zebra and Christian. 148 to play. We're going to keep it right here. 13 to 6, your score. Let's give them some updates on some scores again, Josh. What you got, buddy? Let's see. 
Let it update and load here. Still 27 30. Central has gone up again. 34 14 final. Central Lions over the Bowden Red Devils. We we'll see the defending state champions start the season 0 and 2. 0 and 2. And Bremen coming in next week to Bowden 2 and 0, most if likely. They win. Yeah. They finish, Temple uh, still up 14 7 over Christian Heritage. What's that Chapel Hill score? Was that 11 to nothing? That was softball. Oh. We got a softball score down in Greenville. Greenville uh, leads uh, Mount Zion 6 to 5. Still. Yeah. Which Carrollton's up 42 nothing. So 6 to 5 is a field goal and a two point conversion, right? Field goal and a safety. I mean, safety. Well, yeah. I say two point conversion. <laughs> Yeah. You got to score a touchdown to go for two, right? Well, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, the old safety. So here we go, third down and four. Big third down play for. Did Villarica just jump off sides? They just jumped off sides. Wow, Villarica jumps off sides, and that's going to be enough for a first down. And that will just about do it. It's going to be close. They're going to have to go to strip the ball. Villarica has got to do something to get the football back here. Right. That's another one of those first game jitters. Their guy's going to kneel on it. Clock's going to run. 142, 141. Villarica can't stop it. It's going to be second down. Let's see, it'd be 120 seconds for three kneels. So he can kneel on it two more times, and then they may have to punt it because you can't nail on it and give Villarica the ball inside your 20, right? Right. I guess you could take it and before you nailed on the ball, you know, stand there and bleed a little more time off before you, you got any pressure. Right yeah. Punt it away. So they're going to nail on it again. 16, Under a minute. 56, 55, 54, clock running. Villarica can't do anything about it. Probably oh, yeah. 13 to 6 with no timeout. And all they need to do is snap it right here with under 40 seconds, and it's a ball and game. That's a ball game, man. That's right. And there it is. So, that's going to be the ball game. What a well of a ball game, too. Villarica comes out against a very good Hebron Christian team. They scored 70 last week. And Villarica holds them to 13, but unfortunately the Wildcats can't get in the end zone but one time tonight. And that's going to be your final score. Austin Barron's first game is going to be a 13 to 6 loss to the Lions of Hebron Christian. And that's going to do it. Clock's going to run out. We're going to run around a block, pay the bills, and come back with a uh, post game show and the Osier Apparel Awards for tonight's game. Inception Energy Solutions, Carroll County uh, Schools, high school football game of the week right here on WGTV. Are you thinking of buying or selling land in West Georgia? Cal Hardy is one of West Georgia's top agents and would love to help you. Whether you're looking to buy or sell hunting land, farmland, or a rural home, Cal has the experience and expertise to help you. Find him on Facebook or call Cal at 770-296-2163. Three Sixteen Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316 Family Medicine. US 316 Family Medicine, a fresh approach to health care. Since 2005, Caliber One Construction has provided the highest level of quality, integrity, and satisfaction in every aspect of their company. While empowering their employees to address the ongoing needs of their clients in an ever-changing environment. Through a passionate work ethic and innovative spirit. 
Founders Jenny and Chris Elliott have made a commitment to customer service and customer satisfaction. That's why Caliber One Construction goes by the motto Hype, how you prepare every day. Caliber One Construction, proud partner of WGTV and WGTV Sports. Located on 30 Dot Road in Bowden, Arian Farm and Rent Supply opened their doors in April of this year. With backyard gardening essentials as their main focus, there is so much more at Arian Farm and Ranch Supply. They also serve as a full-scale farm supplier, and there's even some fencing options you can choose from. So stop by Arian Farm and Ranch Supply today for some free coffee and all of your farming needs. Inception Energy Solutions specializes in utility construction and maintenance, including distribution, substations, underground and overhead, and control wiring. They have a federal-approved and accredited apprenticeship program working in nine states across the southeast. If you're looking for an exciting career like former Blue Devil Brody Doss or Trevor Roberts, give Jerry Pounds or Hillary a call at 404-783-8646. Also, check them out online at InceptionSolutions.com. So join the over 70 employees that have made IES their home. That's Inception Energy Solutions. If you're looking for some of the best lemonade in West Georgia, Steve and his crew at Incredible Pope Lemonade are serving up sunshine by the cup. With an extensive menu that includes strawberry, cherry lemonade, and watermelon, the menu also boasts a peach mango lemonade with natural peach puree stirred in the mix. If you are looking for your own cup of sunshine, Give them a call or follow their Facebook page at Incredible Pope Lemonade. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram is a family-owned and operated dealership serving West Georgia and East Alabama and supporting high school sports since the doors opened in 1990. Whether it's sales, service, parts, or financing, we're here for all your automotive needs. As the service and satisfaction winner for the past eight years and the number one Ram dealer for the past 16 years, it's guaranteed that there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. If you can't make it out to see us, we'll deliver a unit straight to your doorstep. So give us a call today or visit us online at O'NeillDodge.com, where we make the buying experience easy. Old Fashioned Hardware Store. That's the best way to describe Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Remember when a person greeted you at the door and provided quality information and service? Or when salespeople were knowledgeable about hardware, plumbing, electrical, paint, and agricultural products? Take it further back. How about when lawn and garden seeds were scooped from bulk containers? At Messer Hardware, the best parts of the past are alive, well, and at the center of our business philosophy. We pride ourselves on offering the old-fashioned hardware store experience you grew up with. That's Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Since 1985. Go back in. It's the Osier Apparel post-game show and the Osier Apparel Awards that we're going to be giving away, Josh. Uh, um, Take away from tonight, defense played very well against a very good, talented football team. This this Hebron Christian team's a good ball team. They are. Uh, uh, Billeriga held the lead six to nothing, uh, and then they tied it up six to six. Missed the extra point. Did Hebron? Then they scored late and uh, were able to pick off a ball and 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 run out the clock. But um, all in all, not a bad start, really. No. Offense has got to get clicking. Yeah, and uh, that'll come. That'll come. New quarterback and everything. Yep. And defense played pretty well. I expect the defense to get better and better. And Absolutely. so with the offense. So this could be a pretty good year here for the Villarica Wildcats. But let's give away our Osier Apparel Awards. Your headhunter of the week number th uh, of the game, number three, Caleb Aker. He had that huge hit, man, in the first quarter. And good Lord, Josh. He did. Teat off. I mean, that's one of them teeth rattling hits. Yeah, hog of the week. We're going to give it to the center, 56, Austin Presley. And uh, he spells it like Elvis. Just like Elvis. Not Austin, but the Presley part. Presley, absolutely. <laughs> your player of the game, number seven, Zay Bell, the quarterback. And that's your Osier Apparel uh, Awards for tonight's game. We will be over at Mount Zion next week. Uh, and we got softball Monday and Tuesday, the weekly football preview show on Wednesday. We're off Thursday, and then we're uh, at Mountain Zion for Jordan and Mountain Zion. A lot of good stuff coming up this week for West Georgia Television. I'm having fun. Yeah. 
Are you? Yeah, absolutely. You like it? Yes. I hear you. It's a lot of fun. It's time for us to get on up, get on out of here. It is time for us to saddle up and ride another successful night of high school football. The Inception Energy Solution. Carroll County Schools High School Football Game of the Week. Final score, Hebron Christian 13 and Villarica 6. Like I said, time to go. God bless you, gang. Good night. Have a great weekend, folks.